shot of the grand final between Waru and Gogol's umpire Jeff Palmer to bounce the ball down, bounce down, McAway and Zapanovic, McAway beautifully down to Blab, Blab through heavy traffic across the trailer, coming through strongly, the bad middle winner in Gary Smallridge, long kick towards the half forward flank, Roach goes up with Napton, the ball comes down and ground, it's in dispute between uh, Napton and Roach, and there's a fight on right already, only been playing for two or three minutes and it's on for young and old. A huge fight, now the umpire's trying to break up, Zapanovic is in there, Big McElwee's in there, this is a pretty ugly melee right at the start of this game, and now it's starting to be broken up, and I'll tell you what, <laughs> no place for the paint out there, Chucky. I'm glad I'm sitting here, I'm glad I'm sitting here, but by gee, that's uh, what grand finals are all about, all, both sides are obviously pumped up and uh, it had to happen, and uh, the umpires will uh, no doubt take very quick and control. One interesting spectator down there with boxing gloves on, it's the kangaroo, the mascot of the Wanneroo <laughs> Football Club, he's got the boxing gloves on, he's nearly in the action as well. Bounce down right in front of our commentary, commentary position, what a far start of this game, Jeff Palmer, Hayden goes up, beautiful tap down to Ward, Ward slaps it on the boot, down to Lawrence Winmar, he's going to have to show courage, he goes up, he's ridden into the ground, up by picks out a free kick. Well, it's fairly obvious what Wanneroo are going to do, Beggy. It's fair they're going to try and put uh, Gosnells off their game, and it's a bad mistake. They've got changes all over the place, Wanneroo. They've got Tony Fulgrave at full forward. But now it's Lawrence Winmar lining up from goal for Gosnells. 50 metres out, shocking kick off the side, down towards Dominic and Patterson. The ball comes down to Blab. Blab on the right foot, he feeds the ball over to McKenna. And McKenna goes out on the outer flank, comes around, looking to get on his left foot, brings the ball back into the centre. He's looking for Bonamelli. Over his head, Mark almost taken there. In fact, yes, it's been paid to Waddell. Waddell now on the outer wing now for Wanneroo. Drives it into the forward line. He's looking for Fulgrave. Fulgrave fighting for his position. Couldn't take the ball. Comes to ground now. There's a bunch of players. In fact, there's a trip being paid. It's been paid to Tommy Floyd, Tommy Floyd after Robert Sapanovic stuck the big foot out. And Tommy Floyd will take a kick now. He's about 40, 45 metres out from goal. Not a bad angle and uh, should put this pretty close. So here's the first opportunity for a score. And uh, Tom Floyd, the veteran rover for Wanneroo, about to take a shot. He's been around for a while now, Tom Floyd. There's his kick. It's a pretty good-looking drop. Punt is going to land right on the line. Well, looks a big pack up there, off the hands, and through for a point. So, first score of the game going to the Wanneroo side. A good transference to play down the outer side. And this quarter, of course, is brought to you by Prosser Toyota. I'd like to thank all of our sponsors. Hathaway was standing in the square when he kicked out then. Long kick out towards the half-back flank. Blab leads in the race of the ball. Now it's Latham. Latham knocks the ball forward toward the run of Latwell. But the good ball goes out of bounds. You've got to be a certain metreage away from the square when they kick out. Well, I thought so too. It looked like he's standing right at the square. Uh, actually, it was a free kick, guys. Oh, free kick, so no right. score. So right. no score at all. Brendan Ball brings the ball back into play. Down to McElwee. McElwee down towards Troy Lathel. Long handball and a good one to the run of Giffen. Giffen on the right foot. Long kick down a full forward. It's going to land in no man's land. Kicked off the ground by Gavin Carter. Paul Taylor comes up and takes a fortuitous mark at centre-half back. So Paul Taylor to relieve pressure for Wanneroo. Looks out towards the member's side. The kick goes towards big John McElwee. Beautifully picked up on the half volley. He spears the ball out towards Mark Bonamelli. At ground level now, we have the Gosnells players in Biffin. Umpire's going to pick out a free kick. Graham Zanich very quickly on the scene. Good umpire in Graham Zanich. He breaks up that little melee, and he's going to give a free kick. And paid it very quickly to the centre-half oh, back. there we go. And Phil Latham. And now he's given a 15-metre penalty. And another 15-metre penalty. So I'll tell you what, that's, that's one 15-metre penalty. It's more like 30 metres. So Biffin, the Ruck Rover for Gosnells. There goes the pass. Here comes McGillivray. Comes out. Oh, good talking. McGillivray caught. Patterson out of it. He thought the old three-card trick took him. Inexperienced. Uh, it was bad luck by Patterson because he's obviously caught out to leave it. And uh, with Gavin Carter right there, he thought it might have been Gavin Carter. It wasn't obviously the heel break. He must be taking uh, some lessons to talk like Gavin Carter. Long kick there by McGillivray. It's pretty close. I think he's just missed it away to the left-hand side. First score of the game. One point to Gosnell. This quarter brought to you by Prosser Toyota. Yeah, I think we had the old leave it Pato there. Yeah. Peter McGillivray. You could see Patterson was going to put himself in and then decide against the last he said he was clever now comes Gavin Carter lovely drop punt out to the members flank and it comes over the pack Laffle can't control the ball falls down it's all locked up there now as McKenna and Laffle battle for the ball and up by Jeff Palmer comes in says I'll bounce it down 
so just past the 50 metre line on uh, the half-back flank, member side for Wanneroo, up it goes, McElwee versus Hayden again, up he flies, McElwee wins the tap however, comes out towards Ward who sockers it further afield, Glen O'Rourke coming in there for Gosnells, snaps on his boots, grabs the kick across to forward centre half forward where Biffin comes in, well down from his position, he dives on the ground, locked in there by Colin Blab and a bounce down now, 35 metres out directly in front of the Gosnells goal front. And Glen O'Rourke finds himself up on the forward line, it's manning up. There's the bounce, up they go, McElwee wins it, Shark however by O'Keefe, he kicks it high into the air off the side of the red, out comes Gavin Carter, oh he's tried to soccer it, thought he could have taken a chest mark, McGillroy's come back in, he's got a sniff now, chips a quick in towards the centre, it's a short one, a bad one in fact, lets the one of his defenders in, they knock it out, it comes to Dominic, Dominic, good roving from him, snaps towards goal, across the face and through for a point. Actually it was called uh, touch, the umpire called it touch, that's why Gavin uh, tried to soccer it off the ground. But uh, already uh, Gosnell's the system, and uh, you can even see now that they uh, they are really hell-bent on picking up a player. Every man has got to pick up a player. Thanks, Gavin Carter brings the ball back into play. Kicked out magnificently last week. A fantastic kick out towards the centre wing. Must have covered about 60 metres. The ball comes down the ground. Leading in the race for the ball is Napton. On the right foot, kicks out towards the half-forward flank. Leading in the race for the ball down there is Biffin. And Biffin thumps the ball out of bounds right in front of the Getley Paulson sign. A bit of a strange one, that, uh, with Fraser playing across half-back. He's kicked 100-odd goals uh, so far to date. And I would have left him in the forward line, somewhere in the forward line, not on the back line. I think the thing is, Tookie, you can't leave full grade out of the game for too long. No, he'll get lost down there. Throw in, half forward straight out of side. McElwee wins the ball down to Bairstow. He's dragged off the ball as he went to handball. Now it's Patterson. Ball out of bounds once again. And this is a situation where O'Rourke was in the forward line. That's their manning up. They just go wherever their opposite man goes, irrespective. And, it, water. and never gives the uh, Wanneroo sides any latitude in his space. It's Hayden giving away about six inches here to McElwee down to O'Keefe. O'Keefe threads the ball through to Bonamelli. Bonamelli by hand now over to Steele. Steele on the right foot, long kick out to Robbie kick Saylor. A good kick, a good penetrating kick. Robbie Saylor takes the mark on the defensive 50 metre line. Member side at Gosnell's Oval. Kick towards the centre square. Oh. In is O'Rourke. Ball comes down to Granny. He was tripped then. Good on fine by umpire Palmer. He saw the trip in good position. Feeds the ball across to Smallridge. Smallridge, left foot kick. A magnificent kick. The umpire's called it back. And he's going to have to kick over the mark. He handballed it from in front of his mark. Obviously, the play was on, but uh, Morgan O'Rourke hadn't gone back behind his mark. Uh, good umpiring. And uh, even, to, even to this stage, the both umpires are fully in control. Even though we had a quick uh, blue in the first 30 seconds, they're both back in control. O'Rourke, quick pass. There goes the pass towards Napton. A good go over his head. He can't take the mark. The ball comes down. Lamb. Oh, dummies by Lamb. He could have got a free kick. The ball comes now to Blab. Blab leads in the race for the ball on the defensive 50 metre line. Hands to handballs to the safety of the boundary line and finds the boundary line. There's going to be a boundary throw in the left ball forward pocket for Gosnells. Good play then by Colin Blab. Came out, met the ball well. Okay, waiting now, that's Hayden versus McElwee again. McElwee uses the body well, tries to drag out of there. Hayden recovers, comes in hard now. Ball falling to ground. One of his Bonamelli picks up, gets it towards Robbie Sally. He's tackled off it, knocked off the ball. Right near the boundary, it's all locked up again. And I'm probably Jeff Palmer comes in to bounce the ball down. Just on the 50 metre line, right beside the boundary, on this member side of the ground. So he's going to move back a, a few metres. And Taylor's been given the job of tagging uh, Smallridge in the centre of the ground. Up they go, another knock to Nat McElwee, down towards Fraser. He's caught, taken a bit too high by Cameron Napton. And uh, Tony Fraser, the league's leading full forward this year, will take the free kick on the half-back flank. There's a kick, a long drop point up towards the middle of the ground, looking for Jeff Rogers. Oh. Big leap by Phil Latham, but uh, a little too early. And uh, in the back has been paid to Chip Rogers. He plays on now, goes around the mark, kicks long now towards centre half forward, falling down there's Ruth Rob Sopanovic and he's taken a strong mark in defence. So Zapanovic now, he's looking for his options, he's going to go across the ground, he's looking for O'Keefe, he spills it, comes down towards Paul Hill, Paul Hill, two Wanneroo players there with him, gets it back towards O'Keefe, knock on now towards Winmar, Winmar quickly to left ball, that was good play, he runs in the forward line, drives it long towards Peter McGilvray, he's behind Gavin Carter, he can take it, no spills it at the last time, it comes down to Stephen Lamb, knocked out of his hands and out of bounds. He was in a good position to take it in, Peter, because he read the ball well. He, uh, he sucked uh, Gavin Carter in underneath the ball, but uh, well done to uh, Gavin Carter, who uh, managed to force a contest running backwards. Boundary throw in, right full forward pocket. McElwee goes up unopposed, brings the ball down to Patterson. Patterson on the left foot, kicks out towards the half-forward flank. And Stan Ward over there, or it's Lawrence Winmar. Lawrence Winmar, yeah. And he goes out of bounds in front of the get the Forson sign. Right half-forward for Gosnells. We've been playing now nine and a half minutes. 
into the first quarter for Prosser Toyota. Only two points on the board. McAwee again knocks the ball down towards Patterson. Patterson long handball across to McKenna. McKenna on the left foot kicks towards the boundary line. I think it's gone out of bounds on the full weight of the umpire's decision. Boundary umpire Russell Wilson and it has gone out on the full and the kick will be taken over there by Paul Hill. Hill, the halfback flanker for Goldsdalls, made the six and hour all-star side. Long kick down towards centre half forward. Players set over the back was Robbie Still. Comes down towards Stan Ward. Now to Lamb. Now to Ward. He's a danger man. Shoots on goal as he threw it up. He has. And a great goal there to Stan Ward in the right four forward pocket. First goal to Goldsdalls. First goal of the 1989 grand final between Goldsdalls and Wanneroo. Goldsdalls won goal two, eight. Wanneroo, no score at this stage. We've been playing 10 minutes into the first quarter for Proper Toyota. And there's a the bounce down, but the whistle's blown. Someone's uh, transgressed into the square. Must have been Paul Hill, I think. And uh, Wanneroo will take the kick out of the centre. Could be taken by big John McElwee. He's looking for the leads. And Rogers is leading from centre half forward. It's, oh, it's an awkward looking kick, but it's out in front of uh, Bonamelli. He's using great pace to get to it, can't quite control it out of bounds now just on the uh, well attacking side of the wing I guess going for Wanneroo so waiting now for a boundary throw in and another former Rady one player in Shane Ferguson uh, has decided to uh, grace the grandstand and watch the game up it goes, up goes Rogers, wins the tap down that time towards Floyd. Floyd quick hands towards Sailor, running down from his wing. He snaps the ball high up down into the forward line. Thumped away by O'Rourke, that was good defence. It's come down now towards uh, uh, Bearstow. Bearstow, or rather it was McElwee. Handball across, but chipping in with Winmar, with skill. Hit, kicks the ball out to the wing now, where Bitson is way out in front of Robbie Steele. He's got plenty of room. Round he goes, hooks it across good now, kick. looking to Paul Hill. He's run down to the beautiful chip kick. Paul running, up, running on now into the forward line. Long kick to Paul Ford. Hayden from across, no, Gavin Carter, well done. Comes to Hayden, he steps back over his head. It was touched off the boot, however. And another point now to got. And we've got a uh, the blue and gold tree lopping market today, which is uh, we've had all year, and we've uh, now also got the blue and gold tree lopping goal of the day. So we've got the the two today. That could have been come the party eventually, Chucky. <laughs> Gavin Carter bring the ball back into play for Wanneroo. One three plays, no score for Wanneroo at this stage. Gavin Carter kicks out towards the members' side, towards Hayden. Hayden goes up in opposition to Hathaway and paid a free kick for over the shoulder. A little bit um, a bit of a push. In touch with that one, but uh, Hayden. He's taking this free kick right on the 50 metre line. He probably kicked from around about 53, 54 metres out. Steve Hill's ready to come onto the ground. Too big to see if they want to take off. They're taking McKenna off as Hayden now looks for the lead. As is the lead from uh, McGillray. Decides to ignore that. Now long kick from Hayden. He's going to fall a little bit short straight into Patterson. They had no one at the, the drop of the ball then, Gosnells. And Patterson, the back pocket player for Wanneroo, takes a kick left foot. Kick finds James Woodell. Haven't so much Woodell so far. On the defensive 25 metre line. A beautiful kick out to the 50 metre line and finds Robbie Steele. Left, left half back for Wanneroo. Roo, wearing of course the big V, very similar to the Victorian Guernseys as they kicks along out towards the centre wing. Players sit over there, up they go, no markers taken, it's Latham, very quick to the ground. Now Dominish is in there as well with Big Chips Rogers. Rogers tries to feed the ball across to Paul Taylor. Taylor comes through, goes heavy traffic on the left foot, quickly kicks towards the half forward flank. Coming up now is this, it's Stampley. Stampley on the right foot kicks towards Robbie Saylor and Robbie Saylor takes the mark in the centre square for Wanneroo. Saylor now with the ball, there's his kick, he's looking for Steve Hill, who's just come on the ground, chipping in front of the pack. That was well read. Mark Bonnelli immediately plays on. Randy goes on the left foot. It's a beautiful pass. Right. He counts on Floyd. This time, Floyd, a little closer than last time. Perhaps uh, between 35 and 40 metres out. Not a bad angle and uh, would be a chance to kick this. Oh, well played Bonnelli again. Beautiful use of the ball there. Very quick to play on and uh, found Tommy Floyd in open space. So Floyd now. Looking to kick this one. Here he comes in. It's a drop punt. It looks good. In fact, it's straight through the middle. That's one of his first. They're one goal straight now. Playing goals was one goal three. And this quarter brought to you by Prosser Toyota. All right, back in the centre now. And we've got uh, John Hathaway's coming to the ruck. Resting uh, Spelling McAwee. And it'll be Hathaway versus Zapanovic. It's a bounce down. It's a good one. It favours uh, Zapanovic. However, he wins it out towards Smallridge. Smallridge quickly onto that left boot. Down forward. There's Stan Ward in front. Strong effort by him. Pushing back, in fact, by Tony Fraser coming in late. There's his kick. Chipped it into sit half forward where Stephen Lamb takes the mark in front of James Woodell. They could kick this. The oh, there's kick. no doubt about that. <laughs> He's the best kick in the, cob in the, in the competition. He's going back. Here's the drop punt. There's the kick. No, beautiful distance. Beautiful. Right. He's, He's right through the middle. Well, no doubt you were right there, Chucky. He had no trouble with that from 50 metres out. Comes down with umpire Graham Zanich. 
two, three, fifteen plays, one room, one goal, six. So Gosnell's leading at this stage. It's Hathaway this time. Brings the ball down to Small Ridge. He doesn't fumble many times. He did that time. A bad handball there by Wanneroo. And Glenn O'Rourke comes through. Sharks the ball long. Kick down towards centre half forward. Then towards Hayden. Hayden tries to soccer off the ground. Comes towards Dominic. He does soccer off the ground. It's a good soccer. It could bounce through. No. Oh. Sam will let it go. And he could have just about grabbed it and picked it up and kicked the goal. But it's missed away to the left-hand side. One point for Gosnell's. Well, that would have broken the heart of the back line because uh, for a soccer like that to go through by G. Oh, well, Gavin Carter now to bring the ball out. There he goes. Long drop punt towards the other side of the ground again. Another beautiful kick. Big back under that. Falls to the ground. Comes out towards Waddell. Waddell has the ball now. Takes a bounce. Running down through the wing. On the left foot. Going for set-up forward. But it's a poor one. And Paul Rond takes a mark in defence for Gosnells. Rond now. Looking for his options. It's looking pretty congested upfield. Goes across the square to the centre-half forward position. Underneath it was Hayden. Bumped away from him. Glenn O'Rourke coming in. Can't quite control it. Good strong play, however. Oh, Bring it to Lateral. Lateral, a hospital hand pass to Napton. Napton tackled off the ball. Coming out with it now is Colin Blair. Blair, the handball to his point. He'll be tackled if he doesn't hurry. Gets a good kick up to the wing area, however, and finds John Hathaway. So Hathaway playing in the ruck. Can't quite make up his mind what to do with this one. Oh, he's running very close to the man on the mark. Smallridge was over the mark to Graham Danich. And 15 metre penalty is applied. So John Hathaway has a chance to kick again. In fact, he handballs there to Tom Floyd. Floyd around and centres the ball into what's in half fourth water. Out comes McAwee. Almost took the mark. Falling free. Here's Bonamelli roving it well. On the left foot. Screws it back into the full void area. Going across the face. And Andrew Strickland in the back pocket there for goal. Yeah. Brings the ball out and clears with a beautiful pass and finds Paul O'Keefe. O'Keefe. Handball across the top to Paul Hill. Running through the centre as Paul Ron. Hill ignores him and comes right across the ground looking for Stephen Lamb. And Lamb takes the mark in the centre square for Gosnells. And Lamb, a magnificent kick of a football. He'll go long. He always does. Long kick down towards Paul Ford. McGillway and Carter. Carter front berth. Nearly takes the mark. Comes through Dominic. Could have got a paid free kick. He's got the ball now. On the left foot. Quick shot on goal. This is going to be close. Nathan comes in. Is he going to let it go? Let's it go. I think it's a major. It is. Oh, once again, three goals, four. Good play there from Dominic. Goals, three goals, four. Wanneroo, a one goal. And the tactics, Wanneroo, just trying to um, unsettle the goals players. We've got four gloves gone back into the back line. Looks like he might have gone down on McAwee. And this quarter is brought to you by Posse Toyota. been playing 18 minutes. Umpire Graham Zanish now about to bounce it down. Big John McAwee waiting to take the big knock up against Rob Sopanovich. Up he goes. McAwee wins it. Comes down towards uh, Blab. Blab a handball out towards uh, Zach Bonamelli coming around on his right foot. There's his kick out towards Robbie Saylor coming across the ground. Saylor on his own at this stage. Gets around Paul Rond. Well done, Saylor. There's a pass now. He's looking for Hathaway. Oh, misdirected the kick, however, and a strong mark taken in defence by Andrew Strickland. Out he goes again. Finds O'Keefe. On the outer back flank, there's his kick now, down the wing, he's looking for Biffin, Biffin shepherds the ball over the top of Robbie Steele, but Steele fights his way back into front position, she shepherds out Dean Hayden, allows uh, Bairstow, and he's tackled, ball's gone out of bounds now in the outer back flank for Wanneroo. How many times, Chucky, have Gosnell's gone down the outer side with ease? Exactly, and uh, the Wanneroo players have had enough of the ball, but they're just not doing enough with it. Well, there's a ball in uh, Hayden again versus McAwee, McAwee sockers off the ground, comes out towards Lawrence Winmar coming down from the wing. He's bumped off the play by Robbie Steele and it's out of bounds once again. And the four goals four now to one goal. And they've had eight scoring shots to, to one. So there's a bounce down back in the centre. Zapanovich bumps the ball forward out onto the wing area. And there's O'Keefe again out in front of Robbie Steele. He handles back towards Winmar. Winmar with a left foot chip gips. Finds about medalist in Gary Smallridge. Immediately onto his left foot, a long kick into full forward area. Gavin Carter in front position. Couldn't control it. Stan Ward rolled it. Tackled off the ball by Spoolgrave. That was good play. Then he centres the ball beautifully to Tony Fraser. Fraser now going up towards the back flank here. It's a bad kick, however. And in comes Dominic. He's really good on that uh, knock he took just a little while ago. I took a one-hand mark. So Dominic now, he's a long way out from goal, but he can put this right into the teeth. Oh, goal. There it is. It's a high kick, a pretty poor kick, really. Big pack under that. McElwee was there. Gavin Carter was there. It's come free. Stan Wood has sharked this. He can't quite get onto his foot to have a snap for goal. In comes O'Keefe. That was gutsy play. A big pack forming now. Fraser now battling for the ball. Full Graves in there. And there's been a trip play. This up by Graham Zanich has said that uh, Tony Fraser was legged as he was trying to get rid of that ball. So Tony Fraser's relieved. Pressure for Wanneroo. Goes out towards the 
half back flank, a bad kick goes along the ground, out of bounds. So there can be a boundary throw in on the right half forward flank for Gosnells. Gosnells, four goals, 428. Wanneroo, one goal, six points. 23 minutes into the first quarter for Prosser. Toy Uta, I'd like to thank them for their sponsorship this year. Looks like this Roach on the Graves coming off. In uh, interesting move here by Coach Carter. Balls uh, comes down to Stampley. He's dragged off the ball. Now Smallridge picks up quickly onto the left foot. Kicks down with Gavin Carter charging out and should mark and does. On the defensive 25 metre line for Wanneroo. Short pass towards centre half back. Dominic up over the back of Zapanovic. Thumps the ball down the ground. Bonamelli leads in racing ball. Spears the handball now over towards Blab. Blab on the right foot. Kicks out towards the centre wing and coming up and taking the Marcus Howard Collins. And he's the player that I'd have on the ground the whole time. He's a good player, Collins. Nice looking kick out towards Rogers. Can't take the mark. An opposition there to Latham. Ball comes down the ground. Oliver, reliable as ever, on the left foot. Kicks out to the run of Napton over his head. Goes down to Taylor. Not playing a bad game on the half-back flank, Taylor. Over to uh, Collins. Long kick down towards half-forward. Up they go. No mark is taken. The ball comes down towards Oliver. Now to Latham. Feeds defensively over to Strickland. Strickland kicks to the centre of the ground where Paul O'Keefe comes up and takes a courageous mark. Umpire didn't play. It must have been touched. Smallish goes through heavy traffic. Strongly tackled, going to be a bounce down centre wing member centre wing oh, it's obviously, uh, it was obviously a touch ball, that's why uh, O'Keefe wasn't paid that mark ready for the bounce down now, it's Panovic versus McElwee, a lot of big bodies in there, in fact a free kick's been paid to big John McElwee Robert Zapanovic deemed to have interfered in that rush contest. So John McElwee now, there's his pass, he's looking for Collins, he's just come on, it's his second mark in as many minutes. Collins now, looking for Steve Hill down forward, there's a kick. Drop punt, Hathaway shipping in as well. In front, however, in defence with Paul Ron, that was good play. Coming in there was Waddell, he couldn't control it, comes out now to Latham. Played the runs on, it's a bad handle to a Strickland, he's under pressure. All sorts of pressure, good tackle by Hathaway, back towards Latham, he spills the ball. And finally forced out of bounds. On the centre wing. Well, yeah, to get out of that one because uh, Phil Latham was going to get his left foot and change his mind and a uh, silly little handball back into the play. Yeah, lucky to get out of that one. Unnecessary handball. Up it goes. McElwee wins the tap, but it could be sharked by Lathwell. Diving in with Bonamelli, though. That was good, desperate play from him. Lathwell recovers. Bonamelli chases and tackles again. Lathwell eventually clears. Runs a poor kick, but it's Mac. Like supports it. It's Mac landed in the hands, uh, hands of uh, Andrew Strickland. Just short of centre wing. So Strickland now with the opportunity to put Gosnells into attack. There's his kick, looking for Dean Hayden, a nice looking kick, thumped away from Hayden by Bairstow, comes to O'Keefe, O'Keefe kicks it high up towards centre half forward, and oh, Hatton with great use of the body, nudges out Neil Roach and takes a strong mark. So, Napton now, there's a long kick, it's a beautiful long kick, he was right on the 50 metre line, he's just hooked it across the face of goals however, and three for a point. Yes, and already uh, Cameron Napton in the play, been in the play uh, since the first bounce, and a good use of the body then, uh, a little bit of experience, uh, kept Roach out of the play. As Gavin Carter brings the ball back into play, if they the outer side, long kick, ball sumped down towards Lawrence Winmark, coming from the side there, Tommy Floyd, about a metre inside the boundary line, and there's going to be a boundary throw, no, umpire's down, he's got a free kick going to Tommy Floyd. Now, Phil Latham, the only member of the 1981 Goldsville side, still playing out there today. And one of the most experienced players, of course, in the Goldsville side, along with Glenn O'Rourke, the captain, who's played, of course, with Calamunda when they won some premierships. Long kick towards the outer wing. Oh, great mark, Gary Smallwood. You know, it's been paid a, a push in the back, so the free kick is going to go to big John Hathaway over the far side. We see Butler, water boy today, of course, centre-half back normally. There goes kick towards Colin Blad, takes the mark on the centre wing, long kick out towards the half-forward flank, and players go up, the ball's stumped forward by Paul Hill at a side, so the thump as it comes down to big Rob Zipanovic, showing good agility for a big man. Long kick out towards the centre half-forward flank, and Lamb well, coming up playing away. a good game. Probably the best man on the ground at this stage, Lamb. There goes the kick down to the lead of McGilvray, and you're right, Johnny Big, Carter is certainly keeping up with McGilvray, playing five metres in front of him, and he has got, certainly got good pace. Well, that's what I said would happen. Um, Carter has the experience, he realised that he has to keep McGilvray away from the ball, so he's playing in front and good uh, three or four metres in front. Boundary throwing now, Hayden versus Hathaway. Up they go. Hayden actually won that tap towards Peter McGilvray, snaps it quickly on his boot, off the side, however, and out of bounds on the pool. And Gavin Carter will take the kick right deep in the uh, pocket there and should be able to clear this ball well up onto the half-back flank. Looking for his options, of course, all the players forming up on that outer flank. Up it goes. Hathaway almost a strong mark in front. Punched away by O'Keefe. Ball to ground now. O'Keefe is tackled. Can't get rid of it. Ball held to him. And umpire Zanich says a bounce down will be necessary. Right at centre half forward now for Gosnells. Right on the 50 metre line, in fact. And uh, waiting for this bounce down. There's the bounce. 
Sopanovic now versus Hathaway over the top was Hayden. Bumped it clear and it comes to Patterson. Oh, another one-hander taken there by Dominic. Dominic quickly on the left foot. Took, could have taken a little bit more time with that one, I, don't, I don't know if that would have been a part as a mark of fine. Jeez, uh, he's in everything uh, is Mark Dominic. His skills are unbelievable. We very, and you mentioned uh, Phil Latham, uh, the most experienced, and uh, we talk about Mark, Mark Dominic, the most inexperienced. Great kick out again by Carter. Underneath it was Taylor. Probably should have taken the mark. Lathwell comes through. Oh, tried to do it one hand that time, Dominic. That wasn't on. Comes to the ground now. Lathwell comes in to recover. He was held when he didn't have the ball. And uh, Troy Lathwell will take the free kick inside the centre square and drive in. Gosnell's into attack. Lathwell, a spiral punt towards full forward. Here comes McGill. They charges out. Goes through heavy traffic. A nice handball across to Biffin. 40 metres out of the shot. One goal. Biffin away to the right-hand side. And he's missed. And the score now reads four goals. Seven, 31. One one goal, six points, 28 minutes into the, this first quarter for Prosser Toyota. I believe there's around about 60 seconds of play to go. They're peppering the, the goals of the other Gosnell's boys. Plays, uh, it's a Carter, long kick in towards centre half back. Play is set, steel goes up, thumps the ball down the ground. Taylor comes through, reads it off hands beautifully. Paul Taylor on the right foot, kicks down towards centre half. Ford Rogers is down there and Latham, and Rogers goes up and takes a good mark in opposition there to Phil Latham. It chips Rogers. Possibly his last game today. He might play one more season with the Wanneroo Club. Long kick down towards full forward. And it's Big McElwee comes up. And this is a problem for Gosnell. Feeds the ball over towards Floyd. And now it's across the bottom. Oh. He's on his long kicking foot. Bad play, Wanneroo. Because they, what they should have done there, McElwee just sort of going back and had a shot. Obviously, oh. he, he, he didn't think he kicked the goal. If they gave it to Floyd, but Floyd should have had a shot. Yeah, there was a waste of a, a desperate waste of an opportunity for the Wanneroo side then. Oh, it goes back on the flank there. McElwee trying to mark that one. He couldn't. In comes Zipanovic. Knocked out of his hands by Hathaway. They're fighting desperately for the ball now. McElwee, he's desperate too. Perhaps trying to make it a end for that last effort. Comes to Taylor. Taylor was given a bit of a, a shirt from the legal there with the hands from Phil Latham. And he'll take the free kick. So, very close to uh, siren time. That, that is the siren. And I've just pressed the button. So, I don't know. So... Just seeing a bit of a scuffle there between a couple of players as the siren goes to end that first quarter brought to you by Prosser Toyota. And the score down here at quarter time, Gosnells 4 goals, 7, 31, one, room, one goal, 6. So Gosnells, a very impressive first quarter. This is the Sunday Football League grand final between Gosnells and room. We'll go back to the studio and take a short break. We'll be back here very, very shortly. The club watching the big grand final between Claremont and South Fremantle. But this is the game between Goldsdals and Wanneroo. 31 play 6. Goldsdals leading by 25 points. Bounce down. It's Zapanovic that wins this tap down to Howard Collins. A long handball. A beautiful long handball to Waddell. Waddell now with pace. It will kick long down towards full forward. Phrases at full forward now. Long over the top. And it's through for the minor score. Plays it back to full forward. Well, it's, it's had to happen. That's what the reshuffle has come about there. That uh, Tony Fulgrave has gone back on the half, on a half back flank. Fraser to full forward where he should have been from the start. And the reshuffle has meant that Paul Taylor's come off the ground. But I would have reshuffled a little bit better than that and left uh, Paul Taylor on the ground for me. There's the kick out. And James Woodall, and he's a player they're really going to need to get into this game if they can have a chance, has taken the mark. So he's featured in the first two plays here. Pass it down to Tony Fraser, who's taken the mark about 35 metres, 30, 35 metres out. Pretty acute angle in the... Uh, right full forward pocket but uh, having kicked 100 goals this year I'm sure he's kicked a few of these so he wrote himself a chance he's going back there's the drop punt it's a nice looking kick but the umpire hasn't moved kick. John Hathaway says it's a goal and it is so the important first goal of the second quarter to Wanneroo they moved to two goals one goals was four goals seven there's the, the bounce down now comes out there Fulgrave takes the mark in defence good mark by Fulgrave he's back on the ground after uh, perhaps being disciplined towards the end of that quarter and taken off. There's his kick down towards centre-half forward in front of McElwee, all on his own, in fact, and took a strong mark. He's uh, taken a long time to turn around. Fraser's made a move. Now he's got to try and lead again. Now there's the kick. It's Shock. a shocker, though, and it's gone straight to Lawrence Winmar, who's taken a mark on the half-back flank for Gosnell. Indecision. Around he goes. Fraser sticks up the foot. Get around that, he says, and he does. Goes out towards Pippen. Bad bounce for him. Two comes from his tail. <laughs> he was just so uh, He was just hoping that Graham Biffin would try to hit him. Was up thing <laughs> to show he could get involved and we'll have a boundary throw in. Okay, we'll just leave his head in the way. <laughs> boundary throw in umpire, boundary umpire Russell Wilson right in front of our grandstand here, the grandstand of Gosnells, McElwee and Sapanovich comes down towards Smallridge. Smallridge this time paid a free kick for pushing the back. And Gary Smallridge, the sentiment for Gosnells and also the Bowden medal.
Melbourne. To take this kick on the centre wing. Long kick down towards half forward. Here comes Hayden and Biffins up there as well. Roach and Roach takes right. a good mark and certainly a contender for the blue and gold mark of the day to Roach playing on the half back flank today for Wanneroo. Looks towards the centre of the ground. Goes towards Smallridge. Waddell over the top. Waddell nearly takes a mark. Comes down with Rapanovich. Now it's Floyd. Beautiful smother by Oliver. Coming through heavy traffic as Lamb. On the lead, right foot kicks down towards half forward. Down towards a Napton. Napton goes up. Can't take the mark. At ground level now. It's Napton and Steele and then quickly picked up by Dominic. She's got some skills, this boy. One-handed pick up. Long kick down towards McGilvray and Carter. Carter thumps the ball towards the boundary line. Dominic picks up. Tries to go uh, through two or three players. Can't do so. The ball's out of bounds. A boundary show in on the right half forward flank for golf. Mark Thomas is definitely pumped up for this game. He just showed there with his skills and his tenacity. He's a player they'll need. Here he is again. Around he goes. Gets the handball across to Stephen Lamb. Stephen Lamb on the left foot. Beautiful kick into towards the forward. But no one there but Gavin Carter, the ball, big full back for Wanneroo. And the captain coach plays on immediately. Handballs across to Tony Fulgrave. He brings Shepard at well there by Patterson. Takes two, three bounces. Runs up, drives the ball off the wing. Beautiful looking kick. And he's found his, his man there on the wing. Got cut quite make Bearstow. it out. It's Bearstow. Bearstow now on the outer wing. Who's he got? He's got Robbie Sale on his own. He ignores that one. Goes down towards the forward area looking for Steve Hill. Bumped away, however, by O'Rourke. Ball comes to ground. In fact, Glenn O'Rourke's happy to see the ball over the boundary line in the uh, right forward flank area. It's got a bit more balance now. Chucky Wanneroo and Collins back in the centre and their personnel of Bonamelli and Waddell starting getting into the game. Just about to say that, that uh, a lot better. They seem to be a lot more composed than they were in the first quarter. There's a boundary throw in, tapped away by Hathaway, but it's shark by Lamb. He's playing a tremendous game so far. His left foot kick up the wing, looking for O'Keefe. O'Keefe battling it out there with Colin Blab. Blab wins the ball out. Gets a handball across to Bonamelli. Great right. tap on by Bonamelli to Robbie Saylor. Saylor now, long drop punt down towards the forward line area, looking for Steve Hill up over the top with a big defensive punt. So it was Glen O'Rourke, and the ball's once again out of bounds. Turn the boundary throw in right on the 50 metre line, so it's right half forward for Wanneroo. The kicking towards the Perth end of the Gold Hills ground this quarter, and the breeze of no real factor going pretty much across the ground. It's not a very strong breeze at bat. Thumped down, comes down towards Troy Lath, and the ball once again goes out of bounds. So it's four goals, 731, playing two goals, 113. Been playing five minutes into the first or second quarter for the Sunday Football League, and sponsoring this particular quarter. Hathaway and Latham. Latham, the center half back, has away in the full forward. Latham gets the thump down towards Bonamelli. Bonamelli throws the ball out. Favors Troy Lathball. Lathball on the right foot. Kicks towards the center wing. Player said being McAwee comes from the back of the pack and the ball goes out of bounds for yet another boundary throw in. Uh, McAwee and uh, Zapanovic are going to contest all day and that's what, what the situation was there. Two good players probably there to the, the inform uh, ruckman of the finals. And they won't give an inch. McAwee this time, good use of the body. Gets the ball, takes it two hands, feeds to Waddell. Waddell a defensive handball across to Colin Blab. Long kick down towards the half forward. The only player there is Phil Latham that's going to half back the goggles. And he takes a good mark at ground level, diving on his knees. Quick and pass towards Napton, set him up. But Napton's got the ball, good use of the body. As a quick kicker scrambles the ball towards, center, uh, towards the centre of the ground of Biffin. Goes through his hand and falls to uh, Besto. Besto on the right foot kicks down towards centre half forward. Napton goes up one-handed, can't take the mark. Under pressure now. A right foot kick out towards Lawrence Winmar. He's got two or three metres. He wants to play on. He's going to long handle now over to Smallridge. Smallridge has a good vision, but well smothered there by Robbie Steele. Ball comes to Collins. Collins on the right hand, long handle across over to McKenna. McKenna now to Bonamelli. Bonamelli, ooh! Bonamelli just missed there by head-eye tackle. Runs through Winmar. Winmar for Gosnell. Spears the pass in towards the brilliant Dominic and Dominic takes the mark on the right half forward flank. Some Toru play there on the wing, eventually worked forward by Gosnell. Dominish now, there's the pass. Winmar's run on and he'll take it close to the boundary line. Plays on immediately. Long kick into the full foot area. He's looking for Hayden. Hayden stands his ground and takes a strong mark. He's right on the 25 metre line. 45 degree angle. Doesn't favour the right footer, but nevertheless, a pretty fair angle. I would have no problem in kicking to the best. They must have just got under that ball a little bit that time. It may have been, even been the sun there, Logic. Perhaps he's a bit unsighted. Unsur- There's the kick by Hayden. It looks Check a bit it. straight through the middle. So, uh, another goal now. The goal source they agree is on to five goals, seven, 37 points, leading corner route, two goals, 13. Bounce down up by Mike Palmer. Goals was 5, 7, 37. Wanneroo, two goals, 1, 13 points. McAwee, Zipanovic. Beautiful tap by Zipanovic. Straight down to O'Keefe. O'Keefe over to Dominic. He's strongly tackled. Ball to ground. Players throw themselves on top of the ball. Can we bounce down in the centre square? As Bonamelli and Smallridge get mixed up. And here's a change. McKenna coming off again. And this time Taylor coming on. A lot of change has been made for the bench. Once again, goals was manning up. Rollins Winmar following that man across towards the boundary line. Bounce down. It's, it's Hayden that does the ruck work. Beautiful 
a tap down towards Biffin. Biffin uh, kicks the ball straight up in the air. Uh, Hayden goes up and takes it. Oh, yes. Mark will it be Taylor? Oh, yes, and a courageous mark. And once again, the contender for the blue and gold, three dropping mark of the day. Dean Hayden right in the centre of the ground, about five metres forward of the centre circle. They kick the goals and Hawks forward. They're looking for their first premiership since 1981. Long kick down towards the 50 metre line. Gavin Carter charges out, bumps the ball to ground level, does his own uh, roving in that occasion. He's still in possession of the ball. The umpire's going to have to call for a bounce. Down umpire Jeff Palmer, about 52 metres out from the goals and goals. And again, we're going to have McElroy Hayden in there with notes. Panovic comes in from the side, wins the tap out, but it's sharp by Patterson. His kick now down towards the half forward. In fact, he was filled after he kicked it, and the uh, free kick will be taken downfield by Chip Rogers. So, Rogers on the uh, members' forward flank. There's his kick now. Long kick, looking for Hathaway. Coming up is Ron. Came across, couldn't quite take the mark there for Gosnell. Comes to Paul Hill. Paul Hill. Yeah. Campbell there to O'Rourke. O'Rourke to Strickland. Under pressure, Strickland's kick. Pushed as he kicked it, and it's full on the arms of Robbie Sala. Robbie Sala now, there's his kick, it's a pass, looking for Hathaway, just a bit short, Hathaway dies, desperate stuff, but couldn't control it, and now Andrew Strickland comes through, mopping up for Gosnells, okay. and delivers a beautiful left foot pass out to Troy Lathwell. Lathwell on immediately, brings the ball up to O'Keefe on the wing, O'Keefe, he's had a lot of kicks out there on his own, kicks it further up there towards uh, Stan Ward, Ward's under pressure, however, there from Colin Blab, and the ball's worked out over the boundary line on the uh, outer wing. He has the ability to do that, but doesn't he, O'Keefe, he could get on his own? Because he runs hard, and that's the secret of uh, Sunday football. That's the secret of any football. If you play as a ruck rover or as a rover, and you run hard, it's the ball, you're going to find yourself in plenty of space. Boundary throw and left half forward. Hayden, once again, right over the top of the pack. Beautifully sharp there by Colin Blab. Knocks the ball through the pack, and he's been paid a free kick for a push in the back. So Colin Blab, uh, the uh, ruck rover, ruck rovers in tandem with Bonamelli, the rover. And that's who he's giving the ball to, is Bonamelli. Bonamelli, the left footer, will kick towards the centre half forward position. Lawrence Winmark comes in. This is a mark that he normally would have taken down late them. He feeds it across over to O'Rourke. Uh, o Under the right foot, kicks out towards the member's flank, uh, and it's Biffin. Biffin with the ball now, right half forward. There goes the pass down towards Napton. Good pass. And Napton takes the mark right on the boundary line in between the 25 metre and 50 metre lines. Around about 40 metres out. There goes another short pass to Ward. Does he mark? He should be paid a free kick. Yes, he has been. And Stan Ward. And Hathaway off the ground. And going in for some treatment by the looks of things. So Stan Ward right on 25 metres out. Have a shot on goal. And another couple of 1981 grand finalists, uh, Ken Reynolds and uh, Big Bad Grant Denning. They're all here, aren't they? Quick sh shot on goal. The ball comes down the ground. It's uh, been kicked out by McElwee. Good kick by McElwee. And it's big Gavin Carter. Gavin Carter on the right foot. Kicks towards the centre of the ground towards Steve Hill from the side. Paul Hill comes down to Tommy Floyd. Hand passes now over to Waddell. Waddell goes through the traffic. He's 50 metres out. He's a long kick of the footy. This is a nice long kick. Strickland going back and Strickland takes the mark. And he's playing a good game in that back pocket, Andrew Strickland. Holding up well. Good stuff there. Read the play well. Drop back. Take a strong mark. He's kicked out to Smorridge. He can't try to take the mark. Taylor is there under pressure. Taken a bit high, however. No. Fair enough, says Graham Dennis. And the uh, ball's all locked up here. He's going to bounce it down right on the 50 metre mark. Still in the uh, Wanneroo forward line. And uh, Gary Smorridge is back in there battling for the ball. And waiting now for the bounce down. It looks like it's going to be Phil Latham versus Chips Rogers. So there's the big bounce. It's a good bounce. Latham wins the tap, going out towards Lawrence Winmar. He's had a few kicks this quarter. Close to the boundary line now. He gets around well across to Paul Hill, but he was under pressure. Puts a handball up to Biffin. Biffin's tackle. Beautiful tackle. Falls now to Bonamelli. There's his chip kick. He's looking for Sample here. He can't control it. Comes to Steve Hill, but uh, over the boundary line. And a couple of those uh, one forwards a bit quiet so far, Chuggy. Yes, uh, in particular Steve Hill. Uh, he's the player that they're looking for because he's their uh, prolific goal scorer score across half forward. Been quiet to date. There's the tap one by Rogers towards Bonamelli. Just desperate stuff in there. Bonamelli being dragged off the ball by Gary Smorris. Oh, gee, they're getting angry again. And uh, a bit of grappling going on. I don't think this is terribly serious. So Wanneroo trying to get closer to Golsons by half time. Paul Ron does the ruck work. Beautiful tap down to Strickman. Paul out of bounds once again. 25 metre line. Throw in. Left full forward pocket. For Wanneroo. They're kicking towards the third end of the Gosnell's ground. Rogers and Latham comes down now towards O'Rourke. Coming through with pace there with Fraser. At the base of the pack now, Fraser. Ball's in dispute between Fraser and O'Rourke. And O'Rourke will never give the ball up as Ron comes in. And there's been a lot of skirmishes and a few little 50 cups out here today, but nothing too... And they've got to be very forward. careful because, uh, as uh, Beggy said, uh, Graham Zanich won't cop in this. And he will just pay a free kick. And it'll bring the house down if he pays a free kick. And uh, you've just got to get on with the game. You can't afford to have that pushing and shoving sort of... 
Ash will whip and play. Janic to bounce down 30 metres out from the Wanneroo goal. It's Latham, beautiful tap down. A favour is uh, Stampley, a quick shot on goal. And the only favour there is Waddell. Luck the fortune and Waddell's taken the mark. Only about 12 metres out on a 45 degree angle and should have no trouble converting and bringing up Wanneroo's third goal. And they're trying hard and they're starting to get back into this encounter. Shot on goal from Waddell. He hasn't missed. Three goals, one now, 20 points. Wanneroo goal is a 5-7, 37, a margin there of... Uh, 27 points. In fact, that should be 19 points. All right, back in the centre now, waiting for the bounce down. It's going to be McElwee versus Zapanovic. It's been a good clash between those two. Here's a bounce now from up by Jeff Palmer. It's a good bounce right up in the air. Up they go. McElwee with his height wins that one. Comes down there towards Floyd. He's roving quite well. Couldn't control, however. Comes out now towards uh, Brendan Case. Is that Brendan Case on the ground? Oh, it's Paul O'Keefe. And... Uh, Again, a bounce, a bounce down going to be called. Paul Taylor and Smallridge, no love loss there, Chucky? No, no, but uh, one uh, particular move that I've just picked up, uh, Gavin Carter has now gone to centre-half forward. There's a bounce down, McElwee up there with Zipanovic, good tap by Zipanovic, with sharp by Collins, knocked out of his hand oh, by a keep by Jesus. It's pretty scrambly play, and S.D. Hill has the ball, tries to get the handball out to Robbie Steele. He can't control it either. He and Smallery drive on the ball together. All locked up again, right here on the wing. They have a bit of a grapple before they get up. Just, you know... Just Smallery loves it, doesn't he? <laughs> <laughs> the two number 22s, they part, and then we have another bounce down right on the centre wing. Up it goes. Zipanovic wins the ball out of the air this time. Handball's across the road, Keith. That was good play. He gets a quick kick on. Favours Steve Lamb with the fall of the ball. How in chips Robbie Sala. Great good pace back. tackle. Well, could have been in the back. Good umpire. Play on, says the umpire. Comes three now. The in comes Fulgrave. He's playing in defence there. He can't quite control it. Comes out now towards Lathwell. Lathwell pushed up the ball. Play on the call. Comes out now to Colin Blab. Blab handballs back towards Bairstow. Over his head. Eventually, Bairstow, he just can't pick it up. They're tackling him from all sides of Gosnell's players. And eventually, the ball's worked out of bounds on the left full forward pocket for Gosnell. Good umpiring, Zenich. Oh, yes. And that's typical of uh, Zenich in that uh, he uh, rises to the occasion. And uh, well done. Boundary, boundary throw in in the left full forward pocket for Gosnell. Quick kick out there by the Wanneroo defence out towards the half uh, back flank and the mark's been taken by Napton. Quickly plays on, goes in towards the half forward. Over the back small, he really takes a sensational mark. He couldn't do so. He comes down to Winmar. Winmar now is Zipanovic. Feeds across to Oliver. Well up from his half back flank. He's had a shot on goal. I think he's missed away the right hand side. He has. Once again, that case of the, of the uh, half back line manning up and backing up. And Mark Oliver found himself having a shot on goal. So the ball's gone through for the minor score. The board we brought back into Chips Rogers. He's gone back to full back along. Kick down to towards centre half back. Player set. No mark is taken. It comes down to Napton. He tries to tap it across to Strickland. Well back from his uh, back pocket as well. Long kick down towards the 25 mid line. Left full forward for Gosnells. Hayden about a metre inside the back line. The ball goes out of bounds and a boundary throw in. The only trouble with that is it does congest the forward line somewhat. I'm glad to see they've made that move. Uh, Gavin Carter bring himself up in the forward line and chips Rogers to the back line. I think Rogers uh, not quite an attacking enough player under the circumstances. Boundary throw in now. One again by McElwee. Comes to ground. Big pack again because players are desperate. They're diving on the ball, throwing themselves in. And another bounce down will take place on the uh, left forward flank area for Gosnells. There's the bounce down. Up it goes. Up goes Hayden. Got into the back of McElwee. Came down, however, towards... Uh, steal his kick up towards the wing and the mark taken by Collins. Collins comes across the middle of the ground looking for Steve Hill. He's got a touch. On he goes. There's his kick looking at the fourth back. He's looking for Gavin Carter. It's a beautiful kick and Carter comes oh, down and takes it on the chest. Now he's 50 metres out but he can certainly kick the distance. He's going back. I think he wants to pass it off. He's looking everywhere but at the goals at the moment. Now he's decided the leads are covered and he's going to take it right down into the teeth of goal. James Waddell's down there, he's calling him on, have a shot he says, there's the kick, it's a beautiful drop punt, it's going to land right on the goal line, a big pack, Waddell's over the back, well, first through however by the Gosnells defenders, good play by them, and a point to Wanneroo. And uh, interesting, uh, Gosnells have brought Mark Dominish off the ground, and uh, Darren McGilvery on, and that's a little bit of a strange one for me. They've been doing it most of the year, Chucky, they uh, interchange their rovers and muck rovers through the bench, Stephen Lamb, the rover, brings the ball in for Gosnells, kicked out towards the 50 metre line, that Darren McGilvery just mentions, he's straight into the play, 
as he dumps the ball towards Tommy Floyd. Beautiful smother there by Oliver. Gary Smallridge picks up, kicks towards the centre of the ground, coming through as Patterson tries to pick up on the half volley, but Diffin comes through. He's going oh, He should be penalised yeah. for holding the ball. A good position by umpire Graham Zanich. Up going well. And Mike Patterson taking the kick in the centre square. Long kick down towards full forward. Big pack sets. No one can take the mark. Andrew Strickland feeds the ball both towards to Paul Hill. And now it's Troy Lassell. Pretty scrambly players. Finally, Riddell picks up. Riddell on the left foot. Long kick down towards full forward. Gavin Carter getting back. Andrew Strickland there. And he's taken another saving mark. Right, you've done a good job in there. Right, Andrew right Strickland. Graham, Andrew Strickland in the back pocket for Gosnells. Kicks towards the members' side, towards the 50 metre line. The Panovich and McElwee comes down towards Smallridge. Smallridge on the left foot, long kick towards half forward. The race is on between Hayden and Bairstow. And McGillway comes from the side. Hayden picks up. He goes down towards Peter McGillway and Rogers. Chips Rogers soccers the ball up the ground. Leads in the race for the ball. He's strongly met by Napton. Now he has to go defensively. A right foot kick towards the centre wing towards Tommy Floyd. He's been busy. Amble now over towards Collins. Picks up on the half ball. He has a bounce. He'll have another bounce. He's been called on now as one. Handball across the top to Tony Fulgrave, the runner Fulgrave, runner looking good. Long kick down towards full forward, it's Latham and Carter. Latham goes up and takes his third mark and another contender for the blue and gold. The three lovely mark of the day. Good strong defence again with the Gosnells. Easy kick at the poor kick, however. Taylor goes up, he can't take it. It comes down to Fraser. Fraser snaps the ball, it's gone through. Oh, tremendous goal from Tony Fraser. Took him 40, 40 metres out, snaps a little bit and straight through the middle. Fantastic goal by Fraser. And that uh, obviously puts him right in the, uh, the line for the blue and gold trip up in goal of the day because it was well done. And now one of the for me, uh, John Lennon, seemed to be coming right back into this game. And the reason they're coming right back into this game is, is because all of a sudden they've got runners all over the ground and they're running to the full of the ball and supporting each other. Five goals, eight, 38 plays, four goals, two, 26, a margin there now of only 12 points, been playing 20 minutes into the second quarter. And we've got a great game on our hands now between Wanneroo and Gosnells. Gosnells undefeated. And uh, Wanneroo, of course, finished second on the premiership table. They've been the two best sides in this competition this year. And now it's McElwee. Straight down away, Keith Gosnell's going forward this time. Napton on the burst. Can he pick up? He can. He's going to have a snapshot on goal. It's not a bad effort. It might be away to the right-hand side. In fact, it's going to land right on the line. The mark's taken by Rogers. Rogers on the right foot kicks out towards Robbie Steele. Oh, size ball is that. And it's actually gone through for the minus yeah. four. So it's a point. So it's five goals, nine. Plays four goals, two. And uh, Wanneroo, uh, Gosnell, sorry, uh, wasted a few opportunities. Opportunities. Uh, a lot of those points of the nine points perhaps have uh, been by pressure, but by gee, there's been a few that they could have converted. It's John McElwee making the lead now for Rogers. He elects to go to the other side, however. He's looking for Tommy Floyd. Gee, he's got to take this because it's just Tom Floyd versus two Gosnells players. But it's going to run out. He just got his hand to it, and it's run out over his head, over the boundary line, and out of bounds. So that's safe there for Wanneroo, and they've brought it up towards the wing. It was a pretty good kick out by Rogers, by the way. There's the ball in. Up it goes to Panovich versus uh, Roach that time. Came out to Floyd. Gee, he's roving well. Across to Sailor now, and Wanneroo move forward again. Sailor's kicked towards centre half forward. Out in front there is Latham. Latham and Carter. Now there's a big pack forming. It's picked up. Oh, well picked up by Strickland. A beautiful handball out to the wing area. Finds uh, uh, Glenn O'Rourke. He runs through the centre. Takes a bounce. Running on now. Long kick forward. He's looking for Darren McGilvray. And he stands his ground and took a good mark. 40 metres out. Good mark by Darren McGilvray. And uh, excellent rebound football there, Beggy, by, uh, by Glenn O'Rourke. Yep. Took the bounce. Ran his full distance. And then delivered the ball well. And Darren McGilvray, he would be 35 to 40 metres out. Pretty fair angle, better than a 45 degree angle, and he's going to hate the shot. And now I don't think he'll have any trouble making the distance. There's a kick, it's a drop punt, it's looking good. It's just going away to the left hand side, going right across, in fact, right out towards the point post. And the mark's been taken in defence there by Chips Rogers. And that move's already uh, paid dividends. Rogers to fullback. Already paying off. He's looking quite good now, Rogers. And there's his kick out towards Collins. Collins perhaps could have got a push in the back there. Taken away though now comes to Smallridge. Smallridge with the left foot. Oh, that was a flatter. And straight back to Rogers. He can't quite handle this one. And it's out of bounds in the left full forward pocket for Gosnells. So Gosnells are doing the attacking at the moment. And wait for this boundary throw in. We're going to see Hayden do battle in the air with McElwee. Oh, it was a pretty poor throw that Very time. It had to be. Kick given. Shepard had uh, Dean Hayden out of it then, yes, so uh, Dean Hayden picked up the free kick. Oh, well, this is, this is a, a gimme then for Gosnells because Hayden's within the 25-metre arc and he's only about uh, well, 20 metres out. 
very good angle and would have every chance of kicking this one and uh, moving that margin back to three goals plus a game. The Bruce is blowing up a bit too, favouring the Perth end of the ground. Never really win the Gosnell's shot. Is today. <laughs> There's a kick. He's gone off to the side of the boot, I think. Just this is a bad, bad, kick. Yeah, bad kick. And uh, another point there to Gosnell. They move now to five goals, ten. Uh, that's 40 points. Playing Wanneroo, four goals, 226. And wasting opportunities at Gosnell's. So 23 and a half minutes into the second quarter. Kick in by Rogers. Favors the outer side this time and finds Mike Patterson. Mark, he feeds the ball across to Tony Fulgrave. Fulgrave has one bounce. Brendan Case chasing. Long kick down towards the half forward. Frank Paul Hill goes back. Can't take the mark. Andrew Strickland from the side. Taps towards the safety of the boundary line and finds the boundary line. So the boundary throw in on the right half forward flank for Wanneroo. This quarter brought to you by the Sunday Football League. There's the boundary throw, and up it goes. Uh, it's Zapanovic versus McElwee. Zapanovic grabs the ball out of the air. Great strength there towards Napton. Handball towards Napton. He couldn't control it. It's come to the ground now. Collins and diving, and there was Robbie Sard. Some pretty fierce tackling going on. And another bounce down. And by Graham Zanish says, I'll bounce it down. We're on the outer flank area now for uh, Wanneroo as they endeavour to bring this ball down to their goals. Up it goes. McElwee wins a clear tap that time. Came towards full grave. Full grave, the long kick in towards full forward. But out in front was Paul Rowland. Out in front of Tony Fraser that time and took the saving mark. He's right on the 25 metre line and he'll take to better kick this ball up towards wing. Handball's out off in fact to Andrew Strickland running through. Strickland now a handball to Napton. Napton running into trouble. Gets a lot, lose the tackle low. Plays on. Oh, there was a hefty shepherd there. There's a kick up towards the wing. Hayden's in front. He can't take off. Coming in from the side down the right. right. That no. is a contender for the blue and gold mark of the day. There's his kick now going down towards centre half forward. He's looking for Troy Lackwell and he found him. Lassville's taken a mark just outside the 25 metre zone. And a tremendous mark there by Darren McGilvray. That time, Chucky. Clearly the best one we've Oh, yeah, so by far. Great, great uh, grab. OK, now we're looking for uh, Troy Lassville. He's, well, he's going to... His marksman, is, uh, that's Chips Rogers, is on the 25 metre mark. He's almost directly in front. And there's his kick. It's looking pretty good. In fact, it's definitely a goal right through the middle. And goals for now. Increase their lead. There's six goals, ten. 46 points, leading Wanneroo now by 20 points exactly. Anybody's interested in the Rugby League Grand Final in Sydney, the Balmain Tigers 12, but the Canberra Raiders 8. So pretty tight contest there as well. Bounce down, and big Rob Spanovich has got a free kick out of the centre. 6 10 plays 4 2. He came from behind him then, but anyway, play on as it's finally across to Glen O'Rourke. O'Rourke kicks towards the centre wing. The lead, the race, the leading race of the ball is Winmar, heavily met by Steele. Now he handballs straight up in the air. Now to Smallridge. Oh, geez, he's got through traffic. Beautifully then goes Smallridge. Long kick down a full forward. Rogers goes up, nearly takes the mark, and comes down to Hayden. He thumps through the back at ground level. And goes now towards full grade. And now down to Russell's face. Lamb, on the right foot, snap on goal. And that little kick Lamb. He's a great kick of the footy, and he's had a good first half of football. Stephen Lamb, his second goal. Russell's moved to 17. One or four goals, two. 27 minutes into the second quarter for the Sunday Football League. Well, there's only been two goals kicked uh, worthy of the blue and gold trill in goal of the day. And the first one was kicked by Fraser with a magnificent snap. And by G. Stephen Lamb just equaled that with a fantastic snap uh, a little bit further out. It was uh, well done, uh, Stephen Lamb. And by G. had a good game. And I know Trevor Williams has sung the praises of Stephen Lamb throughout the, the season. And uh, he's vindicating just that biggie. Oh, yeah, he's played a great game. You know, to my mind so far, he's the best player on the ground. Up they go again. Zapanovic, there's a tap away from him this time. Coming free. Brian Melly's in there. Bumped as he was going for it. In fact, taken in the back, says the umpire. And he'll take the free kick at centre-half back. So Mark Bonamelli plays on. Kicks across the square. He's looking for Gavin Carter. And he fell. Oh, Gavin Carter. Scoot the light mark at the last moment. He had it set. Now he comes in. Tackle strongly. That was good play. Good recovery. And uh, that's to him, says umpire. Beggy, Beggy, that's the problem with Gavin. Uh, he gets in a position so many times and drops the easy mark at centre. Yeah, he's not a one-grad player. He's not a one-grad player. Up he goes. He's, he's won the knock that time, however. Comes down to Colin Blad. Blad now. Lose one player. Gets a quick kick out to Robbie Sale. All on his own out in the flank. He plays on immediately. Looking for Fraser. There's a kick. It looks good. Fraser in front. Oh, up and over was Ron. Fraser plays on. Taps towards goal, but there is Lawrence Winmar on his own. Winmar now. Goes defensive. Kicks it up towards the flank. And the ball runs over the boundary line. Beautifully weighted kick. And the Gosnell defence looking very polished. And that was a Canberra Raider kick then uh, for touch. It was a magnificent kick for touch. And uh, as the Canberra Raiders uh, bring it back, uh, they are now trail 10 points to the Balmain Tigers, 12. 
Hey, the kick up has gone high in the air. Fraser's in front, couldn't take the mark. Punched away from him, in fact, by Rond. Lafour comes in, roving it well, running across the face of goal now. He's taken two bounces. He's still running. He wants the handball, but he shouldn't because there's plenty of people there. Up it goes. There's the siren. In the second quarter. Half time, therefore. Goals will seven goals ten. Wannery four goals two. And a real competitive game here today. This time kicking towards the Perth end of the Goldsmills Oval and Wanneroo kicking towards the Armadale end. Fraser's lined up at full forward. Big Gavin Carter's gone back to full back. McAwee wins the tap down, down to Paul Taylor. And players throw themselves on the ball right in the centre circle. And we're going to have a, another bounce down. 26 points to margin. This is the quarter if Wanneroo want to get back into this game. They're going to have to kick two or three early goals. Graham Zanich in charge this time. Normally a magnificent bounce of the ball is Zanich. McAwee and Zapanovic. They've been opposed just about all day, and once again they go to it. Ball comes down the ground towards Bonamilli, bumps out towards the centre wing, the race is on. The, the fastest player on that at time, it was a Lowen's win mark. Onto the right foot, kicks down towards the half-forward flank to O'Keefe. He goes back and takes a good mark, O'Keefe, in opposition there to full grade. Ball O'Keefe, the rock ro ruck row of the Gosnells. Quick kick down towards Hayden. He goes up with Best, though, bumps down a small ridge, trying to get on his left foot. He's dragged off as he went to kick it. Hayden now through heavy traffic, defensive handball over to O'Keefe. O'Keefe a long kick down towards full forward. Out comes Gavin Carter and takes a good mark at the 25 metre defensive line. Yeah, great mark that time by Gavin Carter and, and a one grab mark as well. Robbie Saylor now has the ball, bringing it out towards the flank. He's looking for Howard Collins, but Glen O'Rourke's there with strength. Robbie's got uh, calling off the ball. Collins, however, with skill. He was held, but not paid. Play on to the umpire. Comes now to Lathwell. Lathwell threads his way through the pack back towards Napton. Collins is chasing there. Napton manages to get kicked in finally. A high kick down the full forward there. An inch of Robbie Steele and takes a safe mark on his chest. So Robbie Steele now kicking from about 20 metres out. Drives it up towards centre half back. He's looking for Paul Taylor. Oh. At the back with Lawrence Winmar. Almost took a screamer. Comes out now. Now Smallridge has it. Tries to get on his left foot. He can't. Snaps it forward. It's falling free. However, it looks like it's coming down towards Patterson. He's kick is smothered. Big pack of players there. Patterson dragged away from the ball. It comes through to Waddell. Waddell brings the ball out beautifully to McAwee and McAwee now playing on. Handball across to Saylor. Saylor coming into this game. He's running up the wing. He's taken two bounces. There's his kick towards centre half forward. He's looking for Sampalia. He can't take the mark. Full three row at Steve Hill. Hill towards Tommy Floyd. Knocked out of his hands. Back to Chitch Rogers. Must be back at centre half forward now. Big pack on it. Desperate stuff from the Goswell's defence. Bit of a fight going on in the meantime. Comes out now to Paul Hill, over to Glen O'Walk, now across to Lathwell, he's being tackled, Lathwell now handles in towards the centre to find Zapanovic, Zapanovic across to Smallridge, good play by Gosnells in the end, Smallridge quick kick down to full forward, McGilvray centre almost took a mark over the back towards Dominic, he can't control the ball, Bairstow comes in, tackled high that time, and Bairstow now wins the free kick in a pretty tight patch of play. Well I've never seen that before, Graham and Sandy stopped the fight by sitting on top of it. Exactly, unbelievable, <laughs> <But> effective, <laughs> it worked. <laughs> the ball's brought through to Bonamelli. A long handball across to Gavin Carter. Kicks out towards the centre wing to Robbie Saylor. He takes the mark about one. Oh, no. I tell you what, he was in a good position then, Brendan Ball, to see that. I thought that Robbie Saylor had taken the mark, but Brendan Ball was right on the line. And so did Robbie. But and he was on the line. And uh, Troy Lathmore takes a free kick. He kicks long down towards the forward pocket. Patterson and Dominish. Ball to ground. Roach tries to thread the ball through to Patterson. He strongly tackled and he gets bustled over the boundary line. Throw in. Left full forward pocket for Goswell's kicking towards the Perth end. 17 place 4-2. No, actually, yeah, no, it's done to look good on video because I know the Goswell's club of video. It's done to look very good on video seeing so Zanich sit on top of two players <laughs> fighting. Interesting. <laughs> a, a, a throw in, comes down towards Zine Hayden. Hayden, handball is smothered there by Roach. About a metre inside the boundary line. Picked up by Patterson. He's got nowhere to go. Napton comes through strongly. Ball to ground. Umpire's going to have to bounce it down this time. And it's been a pretty good umpiring exhibition between by Palmer and Zanich. Bounce down. About two or three metres inside the boundary line. Left full forward pocket for Gosnell. They're leading by 26 points. 17 plays 4-2. This quarter brought to you by Phoenix Holden. Comes now now to Dominic. Dominic a long handball to Darren McGilvay. Through the traffic. A shot on goal off the side of the boot. Out of bounds on the full Shit. right full forward Wait. pocket. Talk about through traffic. With that four or five players trying to attack him, but he built up enough momentum and he had the ball tucked under one wing by it. Gee, that was well played there by Darren McGill. Yeah, uh, that would have been an inspirational goal if he put that one through. Tremendous hard work there. Comes down to Gavin Carter. Here's he's kicking a long drop punt out. He's going to find Paul Taylor. Taylor dives and takes the mark. Practically 
on, on his head on the ground he took that one there's his kick now up towards the wing looking for Robbie Steele Steele and Zapanovic Milo can take it falls to ground in comes Stan Ward he can't control it either tucked out of his hands and out of bounds now for a boundary throwing in fact, I've sorry, kick's been pulled out of that. I'm not sure why, but Howard Collins is going to take it. On centre wing, right in front of the scoreboard, out of sight of the ground. There's his kick towards centre half forward. He's looking for Chips Rogers, but coming through with Strickland. He's been in terrific form this game. He's got the ball now and clears it up to the forward flank area, but standing on his own was Robbie Steele. He takes the ball into the centre now, looking for Colin Blab. In hot pursuit is Lathwell. Catches him. Blab offends him. Lose him well, gets the handball across to Sailor. Sailor now a kick in towards Steve Hill at full forward. Hill's bumped off the board. Good defensive play by Paul Hill and he takes the mark the little uh, Gosnell's defender plays on around now looking for Darren McGill who takes another diving mark and has been a good player since he came on the ground so it's going to say the same thing Johnny Begg Darren McGilvray he's taken the mark he's uh, in the right half back flank for Gosnell's 7-10 plays 4-2 long kick towards the centre square towards Phil, Phil Latham big back sets ball comes down towards Hayden trying to paddle the ball in front of him now he picks up he's going defensively across to Strickland Strickland's flat Hands the ball under the boot and finds Stephen Lamb on the centre wing, member's side. Lamb wants to take a bit of time. Here goes the spearing pass into Zapanovich, and he found him. The mark will be paid, and Zapanovich will take the kick 50 metres out, and he can, if he gets onto this, and he can kick the ball a fair way, he'd have to be a pretty good chance from around about 50 metres out. Probably kick from around about 52 metres out. Big Rob Zapanovich. Not enough big blokes in the square for Gosnell, so that has to be the fall of the ball. He'll kick the distance, Shooky. We saw Lamb kick a goal from around about the same position. Here goes kick from Zapanovich. It's going to land right on the line and he did get the distance but it's away to the right hand side it's a free kick, he's a free kick actually free kick, so he picked out two he's going to he's going to it. Oh, well, well couldn't see that one I couldn't see that I mean uh, Norm Barrett our statistician definitely saw it but uh, there was a push push Tom, in the back Tommy Floyd just came off and he's not looking too best at this, uh, too good at this stage Tommy Floyd so Cameron Napton plays on quickly in the forward pocket quick shot on goal it's right across the other side has gone out of bounds on the full so definitely a lot like uh, Gary Ablett by G. Gary Ablett could kick the host <laughs> he is a freak, that guy. Okay, now we're looking for Who? Patterson. Napton, Patterson or... Uh, uh, Gary Ablett and Chucky Fowles. There's the kick now. Coming out now, he's found uh, Big John McElwee. He's taking the mark in defence. Right down here on between the uh, pocket and back flank. And uh, just waiting now. There's a on his, on the mark. There's McElwee's kick now up towards the wing. Looking for Paul Taylor. He, O'Keefe gets in front of him. Ball comes down. It's... Uh, Bears though in there, he can't control it. Coming out now, they're all they're all on it now. Gary Smart is diving on the ball, they've locked it up, and up by Jeff Palmer says, I'll bounce it down. So bounce down now on the uh, flank area, right in front of the big members stand here at Gosnell's Oval. There's the bounce down, up they go, Zapanovic and McElwee. Zapanovic towards O'Keefe that time, in comes Smallridge too. Tackled, in fact, holding the ball that time. And uh, free kick played against Gary Smallridge in the third quarter of football at Gosnell's Oval, brought to you by Phoenix Holden. That's probably one fault of Gary Smallridge that he hangs on the ball a little bit too long and tries to burst his way through too much traffic. Seven and a half minutes into the third quarter for Phoenix Holden. Long kick down towards the centre wing, ball got off hands by Stephen Lamb. Onto the left foot, kicks towards the boundary line. That's what he was looking for because there was no Gosnell's way to kick it through. And Festo thumbs the ball and goes out of bounds. A terrible mistake there by the Bear. He uh, had full control. He's under no pressure from any player. And he fumbled it and went over the, bound, over, over the boundary line. Brendan Ball to bring the ball back into play. On the left half forward flank, right in front of the grandstand, Zapanovic. Good strength. Feeds the ball over to Napton. Tries to keep the ball in play. Has he done so? No. Nope. Out of bounds on the full. And the free kick to be taken by Big Gavin Carter, the coach. And the captain coach of Wanneroo is moving himself back to full back. He's had a a little stint at centre half forward, the Gavin Carter back. And it's all back now. And that's the strength of Rob Zapanovich. Took the ball out of the ruck there. Great play. Long kick down towards Robbie Steele. Over the top. Couldn't take the mark. The ball comes down to Biffin. Gets ridden into the ground. Here's Smallridge. He'll have a long shot on goal. It's a magnificent kick. Smallridge just went away to the left hand side and through for the minor score. 7 11 plays. Four goals, two. Keep peppering those goals to the Gosnell side. Kevin Carter now about to bring the ball out. He's getting a lead across to the outer side of the ground by Stampalier. It's a good kick and he's going to find him. A beautiful kick, in fact. And John Stampalier with the ball. There's his kick now up to the centre wing. Looking for Patterson. Patterson in front of Oliver at this stage. Ball runs right out to the boundary, however. And it's out of bounds, ready for a boundary throwing. Right in front of the scoreboard. Begging two important players off the ground for the for the Wanneroo side in Tom Floyd and John Hathaway. Don't look like they'll take any further part in the game. 18 players they've got now. Well, that's, a, that's a great pity because Floyd was in good form in particular. And of course McElwee needs some relief in the ruck. 
All in now has occurred, and we've seen a free kick picked out of that one. Free kick's going to go Gosnell's way. In fact, I think it's going to be taken by Lawrence Winmar. So Lawrence Winmar on the outer wing has the opportunity to drive Gosnell's now into the forward line. Peter McGilvray way out from full forward now. In fact, I think, I think Dean Hayden's been shifted into full forward. Uh, McGilvray maybe at centre forward. It's now come out. Uh, full grave scrambles a kick out towards Taylor. Taylor a good handball on now. That was McKenna. McKenna's long kick in the forward area. Looking for Steve Hill, but in front of him, Paul Hill, another good mark. Plays on immediately, passes into the woods, the centre of the ground where O'Keefe takes the mark. His kick now, two centre half forward. Out comes Bears, that was under it, over his head, went to Dominish, couldn't control it. All the ground now, in comes Bonamelli, gets a handball out to Robbie Steele. That was good play from Bonamelli. Across to McKenna. McKenna, a quick kick towards centre half forward. There's they go up the pack, goes up, it comes down now. Tackled when he didn't have the ball. Play on his core. In dives uh, Steve Hill that time, showing some desperation, but Glenn O'Rourke picks up, gives the ball to Paul Rond running up from full back. His left foot kick up to the wing is found left. Well, left will tackled by Sailor. Ball comes free. Sailor coming in again. Allows Paul Taylor to come in. Taylor handball now back to Robbie Sailor in the centre of the ground. His handball towards uh, Stampalier. He was tackled. In comes James Waddell now. Tripped as he was running onto the ball and will take the free kick. And just while that passage of play was going on, there was another heated exchange behind the play. The Peter McGilvray had been mixed up in a couple of them today. It's unusual to see Peter McGilvray in these fights. And I think they were just trying to upset the goals team. Long kick by Robbie Saylor down towards centre half forward and Chips Rogers comes up and takes the mark. Rogers will probably kick down long. There's not many players to kick to. He's going to go straight down towards the Fraser. Fraser goes up, can't take the mark. Andrew Strippen reads it off the hands beautifully. On the right foot, kicks back to centre half, back to Paul Hill. Ball comes down the ground. Well read by Paul O'Keefe. He has one bounce. The Ruck Rover kicks towards centre half forward to uh, McGill. They over his head and the mark's been taken by Bairstow. Short pass to Taylor and he's heavily met but it's over the shoulder and he's going to take a free kick right where the Gary pitch forward is used to be. That's twice Gary Smallwoods has been undisciplined. Uh, once he tried to back, barge his race to the back and just then he threw the ball away in disgust. Can't afford to do those sort of things. Paul Taylor will turn out. In fact, Robbie Steele is going to take the free kick in the centre square. Long kick down towards full forward. Here comes Fraser charging out from full forward. It comes down to Howard Collins. Collins now goes past one Gosnell's player. Quick shot on goal. That goes by Steve Hills down there. William Mark. No. Nope. The ball goes out of bounds in the left full forward pocket for a boundary throw in. In typical, in typical Wanneroo fashion, they refuse to give up. I mean, they're four goals, five goals behind. On. They refuse to give up, and uh, that's uh, great to see from a club like Wanneroo. Boundary throw now in the forward pocket. One out towards Winmar. Winmar across towards Glen O'Rourke. He paddles the ball in front of him as Colin Blood pursues. In comes Winmar again. Gee, he's got some pace. Round the boundary, but in fact, it's been taken out of bounds. Free kick, I think. Free kick? I'm just I think he's played a free kick uh, to, uh, to Glen O'Rourke. Well, he must have been held without the ball. So Glen O'Rourke now to take the free kick on the half-back flank. He's got options up the wing, but he's taking his time with this one. Just steadying things down a little, I think. And uh, there's his kick. And now a long, high drop punt down towards the wing area. There's a pretty big pack underneath this one. Pumped away, however. It comes down towards Gary Smallridge. Runs over the boundary line ahead of him. Hey John, just how long have we been playing? We've been playing, what, close on uh, yeah, 13, 13 minutes. minutes and no goal score. And uh, one point has been scored uh, since half time. Just goes to show the desperation of uh, both back lines. Hey, Great Tommy, football. Tommy Floyd coming back on the ground for one Well, that's good news for them. There it comes now. One who work it out of that pack well. Coming now to McKenna. McKenna's kicked down towards Rogers. Over the top was Strickland. Gee, he's playing a strong game. His clearing kick has found O'Keefe. O'Keefe for the knock-on, but it goes to McAwee. McAwee walks around that player. Kicks on now down into centre-half forward. Coming out was Fraser. He was led away from the ball, though, and Paul Hill there. Great defensive work from him. Runs on, gives it to Stephen Lamb. He's running with the ball now. He's run right up towards the winger. That's his fourth bounce. Long handball now towards Napton. Napton under pressure from McKenna. Gets around him. There's his kick. It's a beautiful-looking pass, and he's found Dean Hayden. Good play. Good play from uh, Gosford. Started with Paul Hill right in the back line and brought right up to where Dean Hayden has taken the mark 30 metres out. If there's a secret to success, that's it. Direct. Quick, quick, crisp play. There's Hayden's kick. I think he's just hooked it off to the left-hand side, however. And he's got through for another point. Kicking, uh, kicking has uh, given Wanneroo a chance. Gosnell's kicking for goal has given Wanneroo every chance uh, to be right back in this game. So 14 minutes into the third quarter for Phoenix Holden. Gavin Carter to bring the ball back into play. Once again, going pretty well straight down the ground, looking for Robbie Steele. He goes up. He can't take the mark. Comes down towards Lawrence Winmar. Winmar feeds defensively to Smallridge. He brushes off Waddell. Kicks towards centre-half forward. Up goes McAwee and takes the mark. Elbow into the face of Big Zapanovich. 
and Big John McAlee goes back. Umpire Palmer is in good position there. Long handball across to McKenna. McKenna now kick long down towards the half forward flank. Not a good kick, and Oliver will come up and take the saving mark for Gosnells. Kick towards the centre wing. It's Taylor and Lathwell. Ball comes down to McKenna. In goes Colin John Lathwell, and a clip behind the ear as well. Look out, he goes right down. One thing at the moment, we'll wait for the crowd to settle down and sit down. A massive brawl, and it all started with <laughs> Noah Collins decided to give Troy Lapwell a little bit of a clip behind the ear, and then it was on for young and old Chucky Fowles. Holy hell. Hey. That's oh. what Grand Fowles are all about, I suppose. Uh, <laughs> oh, John, I don't know about that. Oh, you know, I don't know about that. That's just <laughs> wish. Oh, when, uh, I was uh, a little bit critical at times of players pushing and shoving, but there was definitely no pushing and shoving in that one. No big pardons at all. Right. Oh, geez, there was some bit of action in there. And look, it's on again. Paul Latham and now Chips Rogers. And Paul Latham, he's very angry. Oh, Christ, this is the only thing I can see. From my view of the ground here, I cannot see the ball, cannot see the play. All I can see is Paul Latham and Chips Rogers slugging it out. And need I, need I, chi down, and need I chip in and say that both the policemen... Right, uh, what, about the, uh, what about the rugby Belmain and uh, Cambry? Yeah, right. so there was the same <laughs> amount of action in that game as there is out here at the Golf of the In the meantime, somehow they have all gone down and one of them got a point. Yeah, that, I did call that, oh, Johnny Big. Well, sorry, mate. Fine, oh. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, and Phil Latham, I think Phil Latham decides this is going to be his last game. <laughs> <laughs> He's going to go out in style. Mulligan. Hey. So the ball is gone. At Paul the point. Says, I'm glad I'm sitting here. And Stephen Lamb, as he traditionally does, takes a kick in Lawrence Wimmose to look the ticket. He's coming and still goes. He's up and takes a good mark. He's clearly a contender for the blue and gold. Two lovely mark of the day. And he had a look around to see who was coming. He did not shoot the issue at all, Lyons Windmark. A courageous mark by Lyons Windmark. And he will take the kick as umpire Zanich tries to keep things in control. Long kick down a centre half forward and the mark is taken down there by Mike Patterson. What a game this is. It's very, very far. Not many goals being scored. As Bairstow kicks out towards the half forward flank of the centre wing and Waddell takes the mark in front of Lawrence Winmar. Peggy, Peggy, the side that settles down after that fracas will win the game. Oh, I think, yeah, no doubt about that. And really, things were going over the top there. McAuley there now takes a strong mark. It's been paid. Yes, it has. Right on the edge of the square now. Lays on now with a handball to Patterson. Wonder who going for There's Patterson's kick. He's looking for Collins. But gee, it's all gozzled. And Andrew Strickland chips in again to make it up. Take another mark in the place. He's the best man on the ground. Oh, oh, he is now. There's no doubt about that. Look, they must have a loose man in defence down there. He's handled now across to Glen O'Rourke. His kick now up towards the outer wing. Robbie Steele's there, however. Oh, split that one. Gets it across, however, towards Bampole there. He's tackled. Managed to scramble a kick. But it's gone out of bounds now. Right in front of the scoreboard. And uh, we'll just see what can happen. I'll, tell you, I'll tell you how tough that uh, fracker was. Even Norm Barrett passed a comment that he'd rather be sitting here than be out there. <laughs> and the boundary throw in. Taken out of the air by McAwee. Gets a kick in. Down towards Waddell. He can't quite control it. Bumped away from him, I think it was by O'Rourke. Waddell's back in it. Gee, has got pace. They tackle him again. In fact, he didn't have the ball. And he'll take the free kick right on the centre wing. Plays on immediately. Off he goes. Takes a bounce. Looking for his options. Wants to handball. Plays on still. There's the chip kick now to Sailor. Sailor in the centre square. On the edge. There's his pass. He's found Bonamilli. Can he get round onto his left foot? Oliver is in hot pursuit. He eludes him. Gets around on that left foot. It's a short kick. He's found full drive. Tony Fulgrave now, he's about, uh, well, between 35 and 40 metres out and could kick this. Been playing 18 minutes, Johnny Big, and not one goal scored. Oh, it's, it's been pretty hard stuff. It, 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 you know, frightening, that last fight. OK, Tony Fulgrave, there's a the kicker. Oh, it's a floater, it's a shocker. In fact, but pulling short, and I think Tony Fraser's has taken the mark right on the line, but he's on a pretty terrible angle. He's going to have to kick a miraculous goal to kick this. He's right on the line between the goal and the point post. Right full forward pocket. So what well, can he do? He's got plenty of chance to run around. No one's standing there to stop him from running around. Well, it's odds on that he's going to try and do something like that. He's not, no, he's passed it backwards looking for Floyd and he's found him. So Floyd now has got a bit of a better angle. He's about 30 metres out. And a good kick for goal is Tommy yeah, Floyd. he's an accurate kick and he appears to be moving freely. We caught him uh, earlier coming off the ground. He's been one of, one of his better players in the first half. 
And now he's back on the ground and he's having this shot for goal. Well, this will bring the crowd alive if he can kick it. And I'll tell you what, it looks pretty kick. good. In fact, I think it's true. It is. So what are we now? Four, five goals, three. Playing goals for seven goals, four. And Woodell at centre half back for Wanneroo. Spears are kicking towards the centre. Big Rob Zetanovic goes up. Feeds the ball by hand across the wind. Man out of down. McGill Blake. Gosnell's going for Chip pass to his brother Peter. He finds Peter. Long handball. A good one to go with Smallage. Full grave comes at shot on goal by Smallage. I think it's a major. Yes, it is. Good chase in by Tony Fulgrave. The Gary Smallridge and good play from the Bay brothers. Brings up a goal for Gosnells. It always seems to be the way, Chucky. Whenever Wanneroo get a goal, Gosnells come back and get well, one. Well, I, I passed comments there before, but uh, Wanneroo were working hard to get their goals. And, uh, well, gee, both sides, actually, because it's 15 minutes before anybody scored a goal in this third quarter. But Wanneroo went up there and really worked hard to get their goal. And uh, within 30 seconds, uh, Gosnells answered just that. Yeah, and uh, just quickly chipping over the top, it does look like uh, the Canberra Raiders have won the, uh, the, the, uh, the rugby grand final. I'm not sure of the score but looks like they have won it. Yes, I can see Bob Hawks there, so it must be all over. OK, there's the bounce, bounce down now. Comes to McElwee. He was taken high that time. He's going to get the free kick. And big John McElwee, tackled high by Lyle Swimmer. And we're on now to Colin Blab. Blab with pace, gets around O'Rourke. A quick kick down to the pocket. He's looking for um, Patterson. Well, good, de good defence, however, by Oliver. Oliver on the left foot, snaps it up towards the wing. It's a high kick. Under it is Steve Hill. He can't take the mark. Robbie Saleh comes in. Quick handle to Bonham Elliott. Eludes the player, take, centers the ball towards centre half forward, looking for Paul Taylor. Gutsy plays on Taylor, comes free however towards Waddell. Waddell a handball into no man's land. Oliver comes out, handballs across the square towards Ron. Ron a tap on towards Strickland. Strickland another clearing kick up towards centre half back. Coming out now is Biffin. Biffin on the left foot, but right there. Oh, gee, ball stay fun with that one too. It's come free now to Fulgrave, and he's with confidence and paces running clear. Then he's taken another bounce. Shepherding there, good shepherding by McKenna. Paul Gray delivers the ball up towards wing now, looking for Blad. O'Rourke is there, that's a bit of a mismatch in height. On the ground now, all locked up, and we'll see a bounce down. So seesawing play here, some pretty desperate defence. That was well done by Tony Fulgrave. That's Tony Fulgrave's strength, he's a confidence type player, and uh, he needs to uh, do a bit more of that. There's the bounce down now, Zapanovic wins the tap, but it's falling free towards Colin Blad. He's trying to get front position, the ball's rolling away from him. He's tackled, ball held to him. And we'll see a bounce down again on centre wing, right in front of the members' grandstand in this fourth, third quarter brought to you by Phoenix Holden. Bounce down right in front of a packed grandstand down here. A very good crowd today, and I'm sure the Australian Football League will be happy with this little bonus they've had. Bounce down to Panovic, knocks down to towards Bonamelli at the base of the pack. He wants to go on with this. Smallridge at the base of the pack again. He's normally at the base of the pack. It's not Smallridge on this occasion. It's O'Rourke picking himself up. This quarter is brought to you by Phoenix Holden, who played 23 minutes into this the third quarter of the Sunday Football League Grand Final between Wanneroo and Goldsnores. Bounce down favours to Panovic. Bumped out of his hands by McElwee. Did a run of steel. He handles now over towards Rogers. Rogers is strongly tackled. Ball to ground. Tommy Floyd comes in. He's tackled as well. They haven't got much time to get rid of the ball now. Um, Collins, he's Tackled, ball comes down the ground, umpire lets it go on, Bonamilli feeds by hand now to Sayo, has he got the pace to go past Lamb, no he kicks short to Robbie Steele, Robbie Steele's another very short pass, could find Patterson in the forward line for the first time, he goes around the man, he'll have a shot on goal, left foot shot on goal, a shocking kick, right across the other side, Steve Hill's over there and takes the mark yeah. on the 25 metre line. What do they call that, Lux of Fortune? 25 metres out, Steve Hill, left full forward pocket for Wanneroo in a very acute angle. Paul Hill stands the mark. Let's see what the sharpshooter from Wanneroo can do. Shot on goal. Oh, he might have just snuck it in. He's got it. Wanneroo, 6-3. Goal Hill's 8 goals, 12. 24 minutes into the third quarter for Phoenix Holden. It really has been a fantastic uh, grand final to date. It has had everything. It's had good physical clashes, had good goals. Perhaps uh, the... Hasn't uh, been a streaky yet, Chucky. Pardon? Hasn't been a streaky yet. Well, uh, yeah, but that's... Uh, we still got that to come. 21 points of difference now. Ball back at the centre. And McElwee has taken charge of this ruck, I think, in this uh, latter half of this quarter. And that's why I speak. He's been given a free kick because the Gosnell players come over, transgressed over the square again. So there's his kick. Out towards Rogers. Out in front of him. Latham in pursuit. The two coppers. Latham pushes him square, fair and square in the back and out of bounds. Up by Je Jeff Palmer says, that's all right. Rogers is dirty. Throws the ball away. And the free kick is now going to pull Latham. Oh. Do they work in the same branch, do they, Jiggy? <laughs> they might not have. <laughs> so, Phil Latham to take the free kick now. 
Stepanovic is calling for it up on the wing. Here's Latham's kick off to Shocker. It's fallen short. Silo taps it away from Lathwell. Out of bounds again. Right on centre wing in front of the main grandstand. Boundary throw in. Not one of the 40 players out here, Trithi, are shirking this issue. No, one it's, fantastic. Bit. it's great for football. It's, it's congratulations to the 40 players so far. So up we go. McElwee versus Stepanovic again. Lots of bodies in there. McElwee wins it out again. Quick handball to Taylor, but he was tackled. Small reach gets it. Onto his left foot. It's looking close to the boundary. In fact, it's out of bounds on the full this time. And uh, Neil Roach on the half-back flank will take the free kick for Wanneroo. So Collings coming into open space, but that's a bit too short. It looks like he's going to have to go down towards McElwee, follow the boundary. He just can't make up his mind. Oh, short kick in the end. Well, it's dangerous, but it's coming off. He's going to about five or six metres by going to Tony Fulgrave. He takes it through the centre ground now towards Robbie Steele, but he is under heaps of pressure. In fact, tackled and dropped the ball, and... Goswell's turn it around. Peter McGillivray with a kick looking for Dean Hayden and he's taken a beautiful mark. Just goes to show, Biggie. Uh, just goes to show one silly little mistake that can, can completely undone all the good work that uh, Wanneroo had done. Just introduces more percentage for error and that's exactly what happened. It came us back. The ball wasn't delivered properly to uh, Robbie Steele. He was tackled. The guys were right in his hammer and immediately Goswell's turned it into attack. Yeah, bad, bad play then, and uh, all players will be bitterly disappointed, but that's part of football, I suppose. It, we'll see it time and time again happen. There's Dean Hayden now lining up. He's looks pretty good, in fact. I can tell by the way that Kevin Carter is running back out, but it's a goal. So goals goes now. They recover again. Nine goals, 12. One of six goals, three, and that was Hayden's second goal. Yeah, well, the thing is, though, if you're going to do a short pass like that, you don't kick it in towards the centre of the ground. Because all they had to do was take a straight, they had a straight passage to goal from there. 27 minutes into the third quarter for Phoenix. Holden bounced down, leading in the race of the ball is Patterson. He's written into the ground and, and will be given a free kick. Mike Patterson having a run on the ball. He started in the back pocket, plays on, no one on the mark. Long kick down towards centre half forward. Big pack to set up. They go. Mark has been taken by Chips Rogers. Rogers on the 50 metre line. This will test his kicking ability out. We'll have a shot on goal. Now, these last couple of minutes, and there would only be a couple of minutes to go in this quarter, it will be vital for both of these sides to see who's going to win the Premiership. Long kick down. Steve Hill goes up. Can't take the mark. Fraser trying to pick up a metre inside the boundary line. Feeds defensively to Waddell. Waddell beautifully smothered there by Oliver. And the ball's gone out of bounds in the left full forward pocket for Wanneroo. Perfect conditions for the ball with uh, only 15 goals scored to three-quarter time so far today. Just goes to show how well the back line on both sides have played. Still 27 points the difference as Tommy Floyd picks up as a quick shot on goal. I think he's just missed away oh, the right-hand side he has. That's the goal that they could've could've desperately needed, Wanneroo. Could have done with that one. Certainly could have. And uh, 28 minutes into the third quarter for Phoenix Holden as Paul Rond brings the ball back into play for Gosnells. As his kick, he's coming out to the member's side of the ground, but there's a bunch of uh, Wanneroo players there. Bounces badly, however. Comes towards Patterson. Knocked out of his hands. He recovers. Gets it towards Saylor. Saylor is under pressure. Oh, big collision between Saylor and Strickland. They both get up. All for three now to Howard Collins. What's he going to do? He tries to centre the ball. It's a bad one, however. And Paul Rund, Rund comes out. Good defensive play and takes a strong mark. That's Stricko. It wouldn't have done Stricko's nose any good, but then again, it's pretty flat anyway. Oh, <laughs> Bit of a push there, I thought, but he's been played the mark. It's, he's let it go. So Fulgrave's got the mark on the centre wing, and he's going to drive Wanneroo back into attack. There's only seconds to go now, I think. There's his kick. He's looking for Chips Rogers. Comes thumped away from him. Strickland's in there again. Feeds it off to Paul Hill with a hand pass. Paul Hill now along to Glen Olof, running right beside the boundary. There's his left foot kick, but the side's gone. Ten to third quarter, and uh, nine goals, twelve. So this is six goals, four. Gosnells with a uh, four goals plus lead. So margin is 26 points here, three quarter time. So Wanneroo have really got the task ahead of them. Last year in the clash with Maddington, and this will be a real test of both of these sides' character. You're right, it's deja vu for one uh, Jonathan Begg, isn't it? Johnny Begg. Yeah. Three quarter time. Gavin Carter's gone to centre half back to start up this quarter. Peter McGrillbray still at centre half forward. Dean Hayden at full forward. Bounce down with umpire Graham Zanich. It's Zapanovic and McAwee. Comes down towards Bonamelli. Bonamelli falls to the ground. Stephen Lamb across towards Peter McGrillbray. On the right foot. Kicks down towards full forward. Running back with courage is Napton. Charging out from full back. The ball comes out towards the pocket towards Dominic. He picks up. Handball across to Hayden. Can he get the first goal? Oh no, it's very really close. It's about a metre inside the boundary line. They're picking up down there. It's down McGrillbray. Trying to thread his way through traffic. Great tackle. Oh, it's a high tackle. Too high. A high tackle by Gavin Carter and Darren McGillway is going to take a free kick right on the boundary line. He's gone down. A bit of a headache. I'll tell you, a bit of a headache because it was a nice old tackle. Darren McGillway, if they can kick the first goal of this quarter, they can 
hard for Wanneroo. Make it very, very hard for Wanneroo. Big Brian Antonovich comes to the grandstand and player that played over 300 games for Gosnells. Down the goal, right on the boundary line. And if you, he goes for short pass towards his brother, and it's come off. Oh, it's come off, and Peter McGillivray will must not have, miss this. I don't they think must he's have known that was going to be on the, the water in place. They should have been standing in that gap, Biggie. Don't you agree? I mean, you can't afford to have, leave a gap like that. Yeah, I'm, I'm surprised that he was able to get away with that. Normally, when you see that sort of thing uh, tried, it just doesn't come off. It certainly has this time. And Peter McGillivray, he's, Ooh, he's it. just got it, I think. I think he's, he got uh, it. He's gone all the round after it went through. But, Zanich is about to bounce it down. Up it goes. Up they go. Zapanovic with the body. Gets it down towards Smallridge. He is tackled off the ball, but it comes free towards Lassell. He overran it this time. Now Saylor, who's, who also has come right into this game in the second half. His kick, a quick kick up towards centre half forward. Oh, Strickland in front. What oh, a tremendous mark. That's a blue goal, Trey Lumpur. Tommy Boy was actually grabbed him, was pulling him to the ground, and Strickland, with strength, took the strong mark. Chips it out now with the left foot out towards the wing. He's found Gary Smallridge, and Smallridge with his left foot. Beautiful pass down there towards O'Keefe, but he's put the ball. Bottom Elliott is tackling him, and kick is smothered there by Saylor. Saylor now, playing on bounces, he'll be tackled. Oh, it looks like could holding the ball, says up by Graham Zanich. Had the opportunity to get rid of it. And then the free kick will be taken by Stephen Lamb. There's his kick, another beautiful drop punt down towards centre half forward. Tipping back is Gavin Carter, however, and that's another timing mark for him. Second number of good marks in defence in the last quarter and a half. There's his kick right back across the square. Prodigious kick right down towards James Woodell. Clears the back of the pack, however. Lawrence Winmar's in there. He has the ball onto his left foot. Chip kick out towards the wing, looking to Troy Laswell. Very close to the boundary line. In fact, out of bounds. And we'll see a boundary showing right in front of the scoreboard. With the margin 32 points in favour of the Gosnell Hawks. Three minutes into the final quarter, which is proudly sponsored by Bond Brewing. Throw in. Big Rob Zipanovic wins it this time. The ball comes down to ground. Umpire's picked out a free kick. And it's going to go the way of Tommy Floyd as he picks himself up. It's a minute of Rover for the Wanneroo side. Kicks down towards the centre half and half forward. Flank players go up. No mark has taken. Oliver, nice handle across to Smallridge. Smallridge onto the left foot. Spears, a beautiful looking kick in towards Paul O'Keefe. They've got runners. They've got McGillivray out to the half forward. Flank, that's the way the kick goes. It's a nicely weighted kick. And McGillivray takes the mark. And good defensive play there by Gavin Carter. Stops him from playing on. But he does play on. Across to Lamb. Lamb handles now across to Troy Lathwell. 55 minutes. Is out. Quick shot down towards Paul Ford. It's going to land in no man's land. No, he's coming out and taking the mark as Bairstow though. Plays on. Long kick out towards the centre wing towards McAwee. And McAwee takes the mark in front of Zapanovich. Throws his arm back. And Zapanovich goes back on the mark. Big John McAwee. Quick chip pass across to Paul Taylor. Paul Taylor, long kick down towards half forward. Mark Oliver tries to get to the front first. Can't. It's, the ball comes down to Graham Patterson. Picks up a long handball across towards Fraser. He's well shepherded there. Fraser goes through heavy traffic. He has to go defensively now. Over towards Patterson. Patterson, quick shot down. Down towards four forward players go Steve Hill. Hill good mark. Takes the mark in opposition there to Paul Hill. And one of the few times that Steve's got away from Paul and he'll have a shot on goal from about five metres out. Mark this down. The sharpshooter for Wanneroo. <laughs> Just came right down to height advantage that time. Shot on goal. Straight through the middle. Ten goals, twelve plays, seven goals for the margin back to 26 points. Five minutes into the last quarter for Bond Brewing. Oh, back in the centre now. And it's going to be McElwee versus Zapanovich. I still feel that McElwee has taken over in the second half from uh, Zapanovich. And we'll see whether he can take this, this tap as well. Up it goes. High bounce. Up they go. Zapanovich a beautiful tap this time. But sharp by Blab. Blab tackled off the ball. In fact, came to ground. Bonamelli was in there. And then he was tackled high by Smallridge. Got the free kick. Played on. Gives it to Gavin Carter. Huge off the side of the boot torpedo right down into the forward line. Going close to the boundary. Ron came out. Soccer wasn't effective. But picked up by Strickland. With strength. Brushes the tackle and then kicks out towards the wing. But he's kicked it out of bounds on the full. And the free kick will be taken by Mark Bonamelli. He's got a lead now. Oh, shocking pass. He's kicking it straight to Gary Smallridge. Smallridge now cleared away with a long left foot kick. Looking for Napton. Punched away by Roach. Coming through to with Steele. He's tackled off the ball. Napton comes back in. Good skills by him. Over to Dominish. Dominish weaves his way out of the pack, passes downfield, he's looking for Hayden and finds him. Hayden runs out, fires a handball back towards Peter McGilvray. He puts it on the boot, kicks it long down towards the full forward. One of the defence there in numbers, comes to Paul Taylor. Taylor a handball back towards Gavin Carter, now he's got to use his pace. He's out in front of Dominic, 
Mocking the ball on the ground, he suffers it right up towards the wing and he's found Collins. Collins a handball back to Fidel, but he was in trouble. Put the handball back towards Collins. Zapanovic is right on his hammer. Collins tries to get the handball out, but it's smothered by Winmar. There's a bunch of players in there. It comes through now to Paul Taylor. Paul Taylor, under heaps of pressure, can't get his handball out. It falls on the ground. They all die on it. I tell you what, great there by Lawrence Winmar. Desperate stuff, tremendous play. And, and as Lawrence Winmar and Paul Taylor get up, we'll have another bounce down. Well done. It's exceptionally good play by Paul Taylor and Lawrence Winmar. Phil, Phil Latham coming off, injured. There's the bounce down, thumped away by McAvoy, and straight out of bounds. If Latham's going off, and Brendan Cunningham. A big blow, he's holding and favouring a leg, Phil Latham. He's been a prominent player in this tired encounter. Comes off. Paul Latham, possibly for his last game, who knows? He's probably got a couple of years left in him, that's if he, keeps on, if he wants to play. Boundary throw in, Zapanovic and McElwee. Comes down the ground, uh, Bonamilly gets the free kick, he'll try and get on his left foot. He does so, he kicks down towards the half forward flank, leading the race of the ball is Paul Hill. He's normally he's pretty sure, he is this time. He handles across to Lamb. Lamb them to O'Rourke, Goswell's looking good. O'Rourke now kick out wide, now he gets two bounces. He's running hard, he feeds the ball back in towards Paul Hill, has come up from his half back flank. Down went O'Rourke, the ball comes over towards Robbie Saylor. Robbie Saylor Taylor now spears a pass in the woods. Oh. Howard Collins. Howard Collins picks it up beautifully. Spears a kick in the woods. Shot half forward. Here comes Strickland. Sees he's played a great game in the back pocket. He's at centre half back. And Andrew Strickland, for mine, is the best man on the ground. He's played a superb game. Oh, he's really also good. one of the leading kick getters as well. She wanted to have a chance there. 19 kicks from Andrew Strickland in the back pocket. Just been moved to centre half back to take a Phil Latham's uh, spot. Quick pass finds Paul O'Keefe. Gosnells, it's going to be a matter of who can run the hardest now. Long kick out towards Troy Lathwell. And that's Biffin, in fact, and Biffin takes the mark. Biffin on the centre wing. That's the outer centre wing. And kicking towards the Armadale end of the ground, uh, Gosnells. He wants to play on. He wants to run around Gavin Carter. He goes towards uh, Blab. Blab takes the mark. He handballs across to Collins. Collins uh, handball now to Paul Taylor in the centre square. Taylor, long kick down towards Paul Ford. Steve Hill goes up. It's, it was a touch. It's running free. Paul Hill picks up inside the boundary line. 25 metres out. Long kick out towards the uh, members side towards O'Rourke and Floyd. All comes down the ground. O'Rourke is at the base of the pack. Oh, he got it out to uh, Winmar, but look, Graham Zanish decides that he wants to bounce it down. Down on the half board flank right in front of the grandstand. Scoreboard reading 10 12 72, 107 4 46. Great desperate stuff. Lane for the bounce down now. McElwee versus Sapanovic again. Up they go. Ball comes to the ground. Out it goes to Steve Lamb. Steve Lamb a raking pass up the wing. In fact, he's gone for better. I think he might have just skimmed it in. And it's gone out of bounds on the centre wing. It's been a good play as well, Chucky Lamb. Oh, definitely. Definitely. Right. Waiting for the boundary throw in now. In fact, he's, he's used em, almost every kick he's had with precision, Steve Lamb. And we'll wait now for the boundary throw in. McElwee versus Zapanovic again. Up they go. Battling hard. It comes down towards O'Keefe. He gets it towards Morish. Morish just tackled. Manages to get his boot to the ball, however. It goes down towards Peter McGilvray. He was taking high play on the court. Play the advantage. Morish is down now. Ball's going right down into the... Uh, the, the goal was four line. There's a big struggle on there with Hayden and Danny McGillway. Get the have a lot towards Dean Hayden. Hayden runs around, snaps over his shoulder as he kicked the goal. He has kicked an eight up. Because that could be the seal. 11 goals, 12 now, Gosnells. One of the seven goals for, and a bit of a scuffle happening uh, at yep. the centre of the ground. The umpires, although they've umpired fairly well today, there's been far too many head high tackles which have gone unnoticed. Now, what's happened, Chucky, is that they've paid the advantage rule, their side's going forward, you've, they've let them go, and, yeah. but they haven't penalised. There's been far too many head high tackles. Well, it's, it's, a, it's a fine line, it's probably a little bit of a grey area. The umpires got to umpire the way they see it. They let the play flow on to the advantage of the side, but uh, that's just the way that most players have pumped up for today's game and that uh, I'm sure that uh, as a spectacle a lot of people wouldn't like that but uh, players can accept that. 78 plays 46. Goals 11 goals 12 78. 107 4 46. The last quarter is brought to you by Bond Broom. Been playing 10 minutes. Comes down. Here goes Lamb. He's 60 metres out. Spears a pass into Hayden. He can't take the mark. The ball comes down and down. Full grade tackles. It's across to Dominic. Dominic back to O'Keefe. O'Keefe rides up and goes as he kicked it. It's very close. He might have just stuck it in the end. I thought that Peter McGilvray would be playing and a half forward in the grand final. Not him. And doing it well. Delivered the ball beautifully to Dean Hayden. Uh, he doesn't finish it. I 
Hooks it badly across, in fact, and just lucky to scrape it in for a point. And Hayden will be disappointed at that because he was only uh, 30 metres out. He's already kicked three goals and he could have uh, capped off a fantastic day for him and for the, uh, well, uh, the Gosnell side. So Tony Fulgrove's going to bring the ball out from full back and his kick is going to be pretty close to the boundary. Patterson will get there, though. Ball was meant for him. He gets around t uh, Peter McGilvray and delivers the ball up to Chips Rogers, who's down on the wing. Rogers now, oh, a hospital kick towards Bonamelli. He comes in with courage, met by Steve Lamb. Ball comes out to Waddell. Waddell now kicks it long into the forward line. Paul Ron's in front oh, of a strong mark in the bench. And Gosnell really look like winners now. So Mark, Mark wants to go on with it all the time now. He's just got to get on with the footy. Yeah. He's got any chance. And that was a contender for the blue and gold tree lopping mark. There's been a few good marks. There hasn't been a lot of really good, spectacular goals. The only two goals are by Fraser and by Steve Lamb. So Paul Ron now just uh, taking his time, steadying things down his bit leg, heavily bandaged. There's his kick now, out towards the wing. He's looking for a win, Mark. The back of the pack was Collins. Played on immediately. He knows they've got no time to lose. Gets a short kick in towards Floyd. Floyd ducks and wheeze. Drives it on left foot down to the full forward area. At the back of Steve Hill. Almost took the mark. Recovering well now. Taken away though toward by Rond. Oh, oh, Strickland. 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 Why the right short on Fraser? Then clears a handball out to uh, Bruno Rock. What a game he played. Kicks it out towards Napton. Napton's pushed in the back. And the Gosnells play all take the free kick on the outer wing. 85 playing 49, 16 minutes into the final quarter for Bond Brewing and Cameron Napton has a free kick on the outer wing. Gosnells look like they're on the way to their first premiership since 1981. But a bit of a buffer now as the ball goes towards half forward. Robbie Sale leads in the race of the ball. Darren McGilvray's played a good game since he's come on. Screws back over to his brother. He looks for his brother every time. Peter McGilvray. Long kick down on his foot forward. Here comes Dean Oden again. They fly at the base of the pack and Dominish. He goes past one player on the left foot. He's just missed. To the left hand side. He possibly should have kicked on the right foot that time. But once again, one of had two players going up for the ball, Dominic's waited on the exactly. ground. Exactly, exactly. That's happened uh, quite a few times today. Not enough water room players on the ground to, to support the uh, the ball when it comes free. In the basketball, Wildcats 74, 36 and 73. One point the difference in that big game. Of course, the Wildcats have to win. Long kick out towards the outer side. The ball forwards with Chips Rogers as he kicks along towards Robbie Saylor. And there's Robbie Saylor working himself up to be one of his best players. And in the meantime, uh, Another back fight. from where it, uh, it came from, a bit of a scuffle there between... Troy Lackwell, is it, and Chips Rogers. Oh, Chips Rogers has uh, got his dander up today. <laughs> and, and, uh, and if you knew the guy, it really isn't like him. I mean, he's, uh, he's a tough, no-nonsense type player. But, uh, boy, gee, they've upset him today. Robbie Sala now, just waiting for the ball to be brought back to him. He's got it on the wing. There he now hands rolls on to James Woodell. Woodell dummies around. Gets it back to now to Sala. Oh, this is going nowhere. Sala, oh, man, head on. That's got to be a free kick. Gee whiz. He's got the free kick. And the oh, old <laughs> Pretty tall stuff. Bobby Dial will get the free kick eventually. Look at the featherweights out there now. James Waddell and uh, the Brendan Kays, it was, having a little bit of a fight. Now, even I'd like to go out there with those two. <laughs> <laughs> so, Robbie Shale now will take the free kick from him, except about exactly the same spot where he had the uh, previous kick. And uh, the in between uh, business has gone on. So, so now we're just waiting for him. Now he kicks the ball, goes towards an R40, he's looking for Gavin Carter. The ball's falling short, however, and Oliver, standing his ground, has taken a strong mark. Uh, really, he's, he's been, been a great player for Gosnells all year. He Oliver. really has. Only a young player, but an uh, integral part of their back line. Uh, he does exactly what's required, and he has to let his side down. And now he's, he's chipped it up towards the wing where the barrel chested. Barrel stomach, Peter McGill, right? Just <laughs> take the mark. Passes off out now to get other. To his brother, Darren. They're waxing. His kick now towards Laffle. Laffle runs away now from Robbie Sale, who chases him, good catches tackle. him. Good tackle. And it comes down to Blab. Blab across to Collins. Collins, a chip kick out of the wing with James Woodell. It's 45 metres on his own. And off he goes. Two, three bounces. Napton, look at him chase for this late in the game. Oh, well chased. Ooh, Chased well him all the way. Collins, Woodell's kick into the full forward area. It comes to Floyd. Floyd across to Steve Hill. Steve Hill snaps, but it's a shock. It's off to the side. Way off to the side, in fact. And out of bounds on the floor. Every time Robbie Saylor has gone for the ball in the last three or four exchanges, when he's fallen to ground, he's, he hasn't got up. So yeah. he's, he's, he's pushing himself he's pushing well himself beyond uh, yeah. the pain limit, and that's fantastic uh, for football. And uh, congratulations to Robbie Saylor. Stricko has still got plenty of run in the legs. Tries to change play, but this time going to walk the side to favour the outer side of the ground. Full 14 play 7-7. Seven, seven. Long kick out towards the half-back flank. Players go up. No mark is taken. Biffin quickly on the boot. Kicks towards the centre wing. And the race is on over there. It's Napton, who just run very hard to chase. He's strongly tackled 
by Roach, very close to the boundary line. And the ball goes out of bounds. We're going to have a boundary thrown right in front of the scoreboard, reading 12-14-86, Wanneroo 7-7-49. So it's a 37-point margin there to Goswells, and that should see them through. They're 20 points, they're 20 minutes into the final quarter. As the ball comes in to Roach, Roach across to Waddell. Waddell now trying to go through over towards Tony Fulgrave. Fulgrave on the left foot, kicks towards centre-half forward, coming out big John McAwee and takes the mark. John McAwee, around about, about 48 metres out, he'll kick from. The big Ruckman. Oh, Lawrence Weaver, that was terrible. He ran across the mark. Stuff. He ran right to the cross in front, so he's, he's now given a uh, goal from no chance of kicking a goal to now has a chance of kicking a goal. Big John McAwee, big Ruckman for Wanneroo, having a spell in the forward pockets. Only had a couple of uh, spells today. And I think Chips Rogers wants to come onto the ball. So we're going McAwee to go down there. Shot on goal. Has he got it? I think he might have just snuck it in. He's yes, he has. Yeah. 12 goals, 14. Goals, Mills. One room move to 8 goals, 7. Stan Ward limping up to come up. And I think Robbie Saylor this time is going to come up by the looks of things. Well done, Robbie Saylor. He should, uh, he should uh, receive the importance of the crowd because he really has had a fantastic game. And a change being made. Mark Dominic is coming on to give uh, Stan Ward a run in the final minutes of the game. And Robbie Sale does give, get a big uh, hand from the crowd because he's been a tremendous player today. He really played the ball all day. There's a bounce down now. The Panovic favours him. He gets a tap across, but it's sharked there by Collins. Collins now, there's his kick. He's looking for Floyd. It's a good kick. Puts it out in front of him. But Oliver's hot on his tail. Floyd gets the ball. Ducks around. That was clever play. Now, what does he do now? He finally gets a handball across to Patterson in support. Patterson back to McElroy. McElroy, what does he do? His handball to Paul Taylor. He's in an angle. He tackled. He gets his kick in. What's he done? Has he steered it through? I think he has. So, a little goal there for Paul Taylor. And one of them still fighting this game, man. Goals for 12 goals 14, one of nine goals seven, and doing their best to cut. Well, that's be a contender for the blue and gold uh, tree looking goal. Oh, yes. it oh, oh, yes. goal. fantastic goal because uh, he's absolutely exhausted as Paul Taylor. He ran uh, deep into the forward pocket and under extreme pressure from Andrew Strickland who pushed him off his kick, he still managed to get it through. To this date, the blue and gold tree lopping goal of the day. Bounce down 21 and a half minutes into the final quarter for Bond Brewing. One of them have kicked the last two goals, so they've got a very slim chance, I'd imagine. The Panovic comes down the ground. Smallridge trying to go through the traffic. He does so well, kicks out towards a Napton. Napton and here comes Stan Ward just come back onto the ground paddling the ball in front of him and the ball goes out of bounds on the half forward flank right half forward for Gosnells left half back for Wanneroo the ball to be brought back into play some tired players out there now oh and really tired oh, Collins has come up well considering he, we didn't think he might even play yes and there's a the incredible started on the bench throw in to Panovic over the top was McKenna down to Steele defensive handballs puts Rogers under all sorts of pressure but he does well to get out of a tight situation kicks towards the centre of the ground and finds Darren McGillway he's played a pretty good game watch out here look for Peter McGillway he kicks each other lots of times this time he decides to give it over to Stephen Lamb and pretty good player to have the ball just settle things down he'll probably kick along down towards Stan Ward that's the way the kick goes Robbie Steele comes in but a beautiful inch perfect kick there by Lamb he's gone down with Crab I'm not, I'm not surprised because he's run many, many miles out there today. Stan Ward, just come back on the sharpshooter for Gosnells. Let's see if he can kick a major. He's around about 40 metres out he'll kick from. Probably 45 he'll kick from. So on the edge of his kicking potential, Lamb's going to come off with cramp. Dominic, you've got a fresh player. And Gosnells had a good run with injuries this year. Been a very fit side. There goes a kick from Ward. It's not a bad kick. And land right on the line. Players going and thump through for the minor score. Yes, and it uh, really has been a fantastic game. And the summary will go something like that uh, both sides uh, were aggressive, both sides were tough, and it's been hats off and congratulations to each and every one of them. Well, there you go. Kevin Carter brings the ball out. Tony, she's come straight on the ground, took the mark as it cleared the pack. He's run in and kicked the goal. And that is definitely the feel. That is it. Well, actually, there's quite a few uh, uh, coaches from the uh, waffle here today, and uh, they, would, they wouldn't have been disappointed with Strickland and Dominic. There's a, there's a bounce down now. Rogers takes it out of the ruck, kicks it down forward, clears the pack over. And there's Glen O'Rourke, he's been reliable today. On the left foot, kicks it out towards Lathwell, but coming in there was uh, Bristow, rather it's uh, Stampalier. He's been tackled, or oh, it took too long with it. In fact, Griffin gets the free kick as uh, Hofer holding the ball, brings it down now towards Darren McGilvray. He 
runs around, changes it through the centre, takes a bounce, plays on horse, a bad handball this time, however, that's going to let Wanneroo win. In fact, there's been a free kick played to Howard Collins, who was uh, held without the ball. So Collins now for Wanneroo, at centre-half back. There's his kick, across the square. He's looking for Fraser. Fraser was up pretty early, didn't get the ball. Comes down where Waddell scoops up, kicks it now down into the full forward area where Tony Fulgrave takes a strong mark. Almost played on, in fact he is. A short pass now has found Steve Hill. 17 metres out directly in front and would not miss from here. A little bit of uh, theatrics there from Andrew Stickland on the mark. Uh, Steve that, that's called a limp fall. <laughs> a limp fall. And Steve Hill goes back and pops it through, so Wanneroo is still contesting this game out. 13-15, plays 10 goals, 7 in this final quarter, brought to you by Bond Brewing. Uh, so we'll wait for the ball to be brought back to centre, where it's going to be the Panovich versus Rogers. Obviously, McElwee finally needing that spell, and uh, Chips Rogers brought onto the ball for the final minutes of the game. Probably about four or five minutes to go, five, five minutes, minutes to go. And uh, umpire Graham Zanich about to bounce down the ball once again. There it goes, up they goes. Panovich again with strength, wins the tap this time. Kevin Carter came in, he couldn't control it. The ball toward Darren McGilvray, he and Biffin, they're fighting with the ball, for, with that uh, brother, with Patterson for the ball. But a bounce down is going to ensue at centre half forward for Gosnells, just outside the centre square, and umpire Jeff Palmer to bounce it down. So bounce down in the Gosnells attacking area, 13-15, playing 10 goals, 7 for Panovich, two hands, strongly tackled. Ball comes down to O'Keefe, slaps it onto the boot, down to Woods, uh, Stan Wood, charging out from the forward pocket, picks up on the left foot, step on goal, away to the left-hand side, it's going to be out of bounds on the full. And the free kick will be taken by Besto for Wanneroo, playing on the full back at the moment, on Hayden. So time ticking away here for the Wanneroo side. And Gosnells look like being the first side in the Sunday Football League, that's league, to go through undefeated. Long kick out towards Smallridge. Ball goes over the back, very close to the boundary line, and goes out in front of the blue and gold tree hopping sign, which you can't see because everybody's sitting in front of it, Shooky. <laughs> and the ball to be brought back into play. And Gosnells last through undefeated in 1964, so a long, long time ago. Comes down to Howard Collins, feeds defensively across to Patterson. Long kick towards the centre and to Robbie Steele, who takes a good mark in opposition there to Mark Dominish. Robbie Steele looks for his options. One of those is big McElwee, calls for the ball long. So Steele will kick the ball long down to McElwee. He's got the height advantage down there. He sets himself. Can he take the mark? No. Comes down to O'Rourke. O'Rourke handles to no one in particular. Leading the race for the ball is Tony Fraser. Suck it off the ground by O'Rourke himself. Towards the boundary line, Waddell leads in the race for the ball. Suck it off the ground by Oliver. Out of bounds. And there's going to be a boundary throw in around about 45 metres out from goal. In the left full forward pocket for Wanneroo. Yeah, and the uh, James Waddell didn't really attack the ball as well as he could have that time. Waited for it to bounce up for him. Nevertheless, it comes down to Al McElroy, wins it out of the air again, and handles across Paul Taylor. He's under heaps of trouble, tries to get the handball to Collins, but put him under pressure. Still gets it, well recovered by Collins. Back to Patterson, he's chip kicked down to the full forward area. In his bottom he can't take the mark. Comes down now to Paul Taylor. They're desperate still, diving on it. Blab has it now. Can he kick a goal? He snaps. I think he has. He's kicked it. So Colin Blab now kicks a goal for one of those. And they're still fighting back. Good credit to them, but Gosnells have got a stranglehold on this game. There's just uh, three and a half minutes to go. Gosnells 13-15, Wanneroo 11 goals, 7. Two and a half minutes to go. They have done a great job uh, have the Wanneroo side. They, uh, they've uh, battled this right out to, to the end. That's what you expect from a Wanneroo side uh, to do it. They've done it well. So the margin is now 20 points. Wanneroo certainly not giving in on these two great sides. Wanneroo and Gosnells, and credit to the 40 players that have taken the field. Peter McGillivray's come off. Stephen Lang has come on gone a full forward to Panovich down to O'Keefe. O'Keefe kicks towards the right half forward flank. Robbie Steele leads in the race for the ball. Picks up. Long kick down towards centre half forward. A big patch setting underneath it. Paul runs down there. He goes up. Can't take the mark. Comes down to Brendan Case. He gets strongly tackled. He goes backwards to O'Rourke. O'Rourke the captain for Gosnells. Feeds by hand to the Bowden medal winner and Gary Smallridge. A long handball across to Darren McGilvray. He's had a lot of possessions. Back to Smallridge. He should get the ball under the boot. He kicks now. Long down towards centre half forward. Dean Hayden. It's floating. It's floated right through Carter's hands. It comes to Hayden now, he tries to thump the ball as far as Roach, Roach now with a handball across to Robbie Steele, Robbie Steele another handball across to Tommy Floyd, in comes Napton Napton paddling the ball in front of him, taps it over to Lawrence Winmar, right in front of the grandstand 
win margin inside the bound line. Runs the ball out of bounds. We're going to have a boundary throw in. We've been playing 29 minutes into the last quarter for Bond Brewing. There can only now be around about a, just looking at the timekeeper's watch down here, one and a half minutes of official time to go. So there's that boundary thrown in again. Rogers pumps it away towards Roach. Roach gets a quick kick here and it's going to fall with Paul Taylor. Takes a strong chest mark on the forward flank for Wanneroo. Goes across now for Fulgrave on the angle and finds him. Centers the ball well. Fulgrave plays on. That was good strength. strength. Runs through the 50 metre mark. Kicks on goal. Has he kicked it? I think he has a good kick from, good kick. from Tony Fulgrave. And Wanneroo still try and peg their way back into this game. 14 points down now. Uh, Gosses 13-15. Wanneroo 12 goal 7. 14 points is the margin. We've been playing 30 minutes and there's 1 minute and 7 seconds of official time to go. So Gosnell should hang on. Wanneroo are trying their hard. He's going to give credit to the Wanneroo side. They're not going down without a fight. Kick down towards Bonamelli. The ball falls to the ground. It's now over there towards the Stampalier. Stampalier kicks towards centre half forward. The ball comes down to Grano. Walk tries to knock his way through. It comes to Smalls. He's strongly tackled. The ball comes to Zabanovic. He's been penalised for holding the ball. Good decision. That's the third time he's done in the day. That's, uh, and Mark Bonamelli has the ball. Wanneroo dying hard. I don't think they realise that there's hardly any time left. Long kick down towards full forward. Up goes Steve Hill and takes the mark. And credit to Wanneroo. They've tried their heart out. And we've only got 26 seconds of a professional time to go. Steve Hill lines up on goal. Has the shot. I think he's missed it. He's missed, he's missed it. We've got to make much difference anyway. Tricky because his time is running out. 13 goals, 15. 12 goals, 8 it is now. There's only seconds remaining. The timekeepers are now coming up to blow the siren. There's only a few seconds to go to finish off the game. What's Phil Latham looking at? <laughs> As Andrew Strickland brings the ball in, a long kick out towards the 50 metre line, a big pack set. The ball comes down the ground. Gary Smallwich, and how fitting it's going to be because the Bowden medalist has got the ball. A long handle across the Paul O'Keefe. He's got looks to the centre, hands down the goal. There's the siren! Gonzales have run out winners, the first team, the first league team to go for undefeated in the Sunday Football League, the first Gosnells team to go for undefeated since 1964. They've won the Sunday Football League grand final, they've beaten Wanneroo, but full credit to Wanneroo, oh, a great yes. effort by the 20 players. Final scores down here, Gosnells, 15 goals, 15, 93, have, de have defeated Wanneroo, I think they've reached 12 goals, 8, is it Chucky? Yeah. 12 goals, 8, and that's 80 points. So finally running out winners there by 13 points, Gosnells.